okay. I owe Zolar some money, so um, he offered me a chance to come here and do something humiliating to get out of, <laughs> out of having to pay him. So I'm here to fuck a tranny, and hopefully it'll be funny and goofy like a jackass stuff. So you're gonna bang Siobhan to get out of debt with this guy? Yeah. Solar, what's in it for you, man? Dude, I love the Stern Show, and I'd do anything for the Stern Show. So, I mean, the guy's trying his hardest to pay me back. He's got a menial labor job, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it, you know, I gotta do something for my friend. And I figured if he's willing to fuck Siobhan, I'd love to provide that for the show. Stern's my man. Good man. Good man, Solar. So, so KDK. Yes. Are you ready for this? Like, what, you know, what are you um, doing to prepare? I'm gonna take some Viagra. And I'm gonna pretend it's a real female, and it's a real vagina, and I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna put my penis in there. <laughs> Good luck, man. Okay. Hi, I'm Siobhan, and uh, some people remember me uh, from previous escapades here where we're trying to get me to lose my virginity. And supposedly there's a guy coming in who's going to help me do that today. Now, how's that making you feel? Are you, you know, there's been some failed uh, exploits in the past. One guy couldn't get it up, and uh, a couple cancellations. But uh, this guy supposedly is here, and he's ready to bang you. How are you feeling about that? A little trepidation here because the last one was such a train wreck. It's like I had to, I, I had to sit down and like almost write a list of what I'm going to have to tell this guy I expect of him if he's expecting to get in my pants this time. So you have some like prerequisites set, uh, set forth? Yeah, definitely. So if this guy doesn't live up to it, are you not going to bang him? Probably not. It's, it's like, I mean, I have to be in the mood. Otherwise, I'm not going to have fun, and then why should I do it? I right. Mean, I have to have a good time. That's the whole thing. It's my first sexual encounter as a woman, and you're going to remember it for the good. rest of your it's, life. It may be the only sexual encounter I have as a woman. So. And you know, your first—you never forget your first time. So, right. Yeah. If this guy doesn't live up to it, I, I understand your logic. Okay. All right. Well, good luck today. Thank you. I hope it works out. Thanks. Siobhan is here. We found a guy who says he can bang Siobhan over at Siobhan's apartment. And um, this guy, Zolar, dug him up. Da Dave is a guy. Bring in Dave. We've tried everything. Gary says Dave's kind of fucked up looking. He thinks Siobhan might not even Oh, do it. really? He's going to get rejected by Siobhan? Yeah. No, I don't know. He looks no, okay to me. what's wrong with him? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with this guy. <laughs> what's up, Dave? You know Dave at all, Artie? I do not. No, I'm no, just Hey, Dave. How you doing, man? Hey, Howard. Hey, how you doing? Sit down. I'm fabulous. All right, sit down. Are you gay? I am bisexual. Okay, that's what I heard. You're bisexual. Well, that uh, might help you in this case. That's what I was thinking, because... Yeah. So you're gay. You you're really asking a person anything, to do a gay yeah. deed. You're asking right. a guy to have sex with a guy. And you I'm the only one who's not going to be turned off by that. So I'm going to succeed where all the other guys are going to fail. Do you think you could get it up for Siobhan? I have Viagra. You have Viagra. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's how we found Dave. Zolar lent you, what, $5,000? He lent me $5,000. I, I was having some financial difficulties. And, and Where did Zolar get $5,000? I don't know, but Zolar... Zolar is independently wealthy, believe it or not. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. How he, is he independently wealthy? He's dating a very wealthy woman, 10 years his senior. He's got a sugar mama. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right. Now, Who knew? Now... Zolar lent you five thousand dollars. Right, and, and I he, paid a lot of it back. And he said, "Forget the debt, if you bang Siobhan." Right. This will be forgiving all debt. Right. All debt. Yeah. Forgiving it be. all debt. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I think this might be a match. And I you, think we have something here. All right. Do you want to meet Siobhan right now? Um, sure. All Bring right. Him in. Now, do you have any idea what Siobhan looks like? Yes, I've seen Siobhan in the uh, the hatchet wound before. Right. Okay. <laughs> and you say you can get it up for that. Oh. Uh, with Viagra, I think I could. I'm All just right. going to try to put the thought out of my head, pretend it's a real woman, right. and uh, hmm. go to town. Okay. I plan to try to fuck her like a porn star. All right. All right. You want her to have a good time. Here is of Siobhan, course. who is vile. Siobhan. Mookie more look, vile. Look at, look at Siobhan walking around the Siobhan, corner. Siobhan, you look getting, scared. Uh, look I'm at him down. like maybe yeah. something's wrong. Yeah, I like Siobhan <laughs> making a judgment call on this guy. <laughs> yeah, really. Siobhan looks like, like she just dragged in off a horror film. <laughs> I don't know what and, Siobhan and, is. And Siobhan's like, oh, I don't know if he's hot. <laughs> Trevon, uh, beggars I can't be choosers. Don't. You don't like this guy? 
I don't know yet. It's like... You're not a bad-looking guy. I'm just meeting oh, him I for am. the first time. I'm very bizarre-looking, but then again, so are you. We're a perfect couple. You're too bizarre a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, what, what, what are you planning, like, you know, if you're taking me out on a date, what would we do? Um, <laughs> we would, uh, I would get really tanked. So that I would, I could, I could like <laughs> stomach you. So he wouldn't throw up. You would have to start with you, booze. You, he would well get super drunk, so he you, wouldn't vomit. If you have to get that, drunk, Shabam, why Shabam. would you want to do it then? Um, he, he. I think it's sort of like a jackass stunt. I, I, I think of it like sticking bottle rockets up my ass and shooting them out. Well, uh, speaking of that, you know, why, why didn't you hook me up with Steve O? I would have loved Siobhan. to do him. Steve O wouldn't give Steve-O's you a second look. And hot. <laughs> yeah, Steve O's good looking. But he would have done it. Hey, here's the look, bottom line, Siobhan. I, gotta I don't say know. This. You want to get fucked? I gotta say this, Siobhan. It's gotta be done right. Uh, Siobhan. <laughs> oh, has... I'll do it right. Keep waiting. Siobhan must have a bedazzler at home, so she's decorating <laughs> those kerchiefs. <laughs> Did you make those kerchiefs yourself? With the- no, What's actually, a Varushka gave this to me, the uh, Vogue model from the 60s. Yeah, I oh, guess, sure. I guess she- No, she was rescuing cats, and like she actually helped me with my cats. Really? Robin, yeah. what's a bedazzler? It's one of those things where you can put Would sparkly be- things oh, on oh, oh. material. Yeah, Siobhan is wearing a sparkly <laughs> babushka. <laughs> a Varushka. And arm because he's bald <laughs> and wants to pretend he has hair like a girl. <laughs> well, and, that is a sad thing I have to live with every day. Well, Siobhan is uh, wearing orange and green. Look at two those colors tattoos. that really go together. It's and they clash, Halloween. And you it know, clashes with pumpkin. the tattoos. Oh. Let me give you the bottom line, uh, darling. <laughs> You are not someone that everyone is going to jump into bed with. You got well, this guy I know here. That. I got I got my age working against me. I'm 50 years no, old. No, you're a guy like, with a with a fake <laughs> vagina. I'm, That's yeah, pretty much it. I'm not a guy, and the, the vagina you're a guy. actually within five years, all the tissue in the vagina will be totally real female tissue. Oh, sure. How's well. that going to happen? It happens. It, it happens. <laughs> no, it happens from the hormones and the cellular replacement over. A <laughs> yeah, and Superman isn't going to be affected by kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about Siobhan do you find attractive? Is there something in there that yeah, you can you find? I, sh- I think Siobhan is cool. And actually, when I was a kid, I remember seeing your beauty pageant. That's right. Where Siobhan got up and sang T A B O O. That wasn't Siobhan. That wasn't her. That wasn't her. That was bad. Tequila. I committed a faux pas. That was Taboo who sang that. Oh, okay. I know Taboo. Okay. But I'm not surprised. Yeah, this the when when I appeared, it was the New Year's show for 1987. At uh-huh. Is there anything Square. staring at Siobhan right now that you can find attractive that you she think? She has beautiful eyes. Beautiful Thank eyes. You. And from the show, we can't see them now, but the breasts look very good. No. Yeah, they're, for, they're for brand new, new, practically. Show them your titties. Uh, uh, <laughs> show, show, give them a flash of your titties. Is there anything attractive about those? Do you think? It's not as much a horror show as you and might then expect. There's, then there's uh. an extra one down here. Oh, she always has to go that extra oh, mile. Nice. <laughs> You're a monster. That's not so bad. Marky Mark has a third nipple. That's not that big a deal. Do you still think you could get it up after seeing those horrible tits and the, the disgusting... Once, once when I was like 18 or 19, I had a hidden camera set up in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. And I had a, a girl who was like 350, 400 pounds over. And I totally wasn't attracted to her. But I figure I'll do it because I'm recording it. And it'll be goofy. And I can watch it with my friends later and laugh about it. Right. So I, I can get it up. Right. All right. Uh, well, that's a start because everyone else has failed. I mean, when you're <laughs> Some alone. Some people have even failed. I you should have seen this I other guy. Fail. His dick actually started shrinking the closer <laughs> I got to it. Like a cartoon. Literally. <laughs> this, like I never saw anything like it until it was the size of a cat's penis. Now, I've Siobhan. never had Viagra before, and my, my private parts work very well. Well, all right. <laughs> How's your, your health down there and your hygiene? Like, uh, um, My hygiene and health are fine. I'm negative on everything. I've never had a social disease. Uh huh. I've been with the same guy for seven years now. Oh, you're with a guy? Yeah, I'm bisexual. But, I mean, what does he think about it? He's out in the green room right now, and he sees it, I think, the way I do, sort of like a jackass stunt. 
Right. It's, it's, it's the only way to look at it. It's something goofy to do, <laughs> so, but... So you never... That doesn't mean I'm going to have that. I'm going to go all the way, and I'm going to try to fuck like a porn star but as you, best you'd I can. Never, you'd never be interested in being my boyfriend or anything. Well, if you rock his world, he doesn't know. You never know, yeah. <laughs> you might make my head spin, and then I'll leave him in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he seems like a nice guy, Siobhan. It's about he the closest... He does. He's got a time good rap. Yeah. It's like... But I, I ought to have my daughter come in here and check nah, it out. No, you check what it do you out. Mean? We don't need your daughter in she's my advice. In these no. Things. Oh, please. No, no, you know what you want. You got into this mess all by yourself. <laughs> uh, okay, well. You're going to let him bang you or not? Well, where are we going to do this? Your place. No. Yeah, not, why not? No, because you guys traumatize the cats. So. Get out of here. We're not going to do anything to no, your cats. No, no, traumatize, you traumatize the cats. The cats. I'm a cat oh. lover. I love cats, and cats love you me. Love That's cats. nice. I yeah. love cats. Oh, Siobhan, see? Now you got to do it. Right. This is already turned. What about at the Texaco station direction. on 38th Street? <laughs> I, I have two great cats. One of my cats just died. It's very sad, but I have two beautiful Siamese cats. Oh, you like the Siamese. I love Siamese cats. I love how so they are and how vocal they are. Yeah, this are. guy's half fruit, Javon. Well, yeah. what, what, what if, what if yeah, one, sto- what if thing, one starts taking a big dump like in the Siobhan, box stop it. Do you want bed. this guy or not? I, that, will you give me some time How much here? time? Just have a he runs just... out of the room. You ever see the monsters? Eventually everybody <laughs> runs out of the room. I'm used to the smell of no, cat piss. No, he seems to be warming up and no. it's like I want to, I want, I have to get in the mood to do this, Howard. I'm oh. not, well, I'm not a guy. Right now, you are you? a guy, so go- girls need time to decide. I'm you're not a guy. No, <laughs> no guy. I'm a girl and I need to Bang be this wooed. fucking guy. You're never going to get that vagina of yours in use unless you let this guy do it. You got to dive into the deep end of the pool. I have, uh, my dick is average size, probably about six inches. Nothing spectacular. Oh, but how thick is it? I don't know. Where's the camera so they can see? I don't know. Maybe like that. Oh, it's you. You got some some girth on you. As long as it's bigger than mine was, then it'll (laughs) work. My dick, in all respects, is like perfectly average. It's got a nice shaped head. I'll tell you what, though. It is tough banging a chick whose cock is bigger than yours. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you heard he's got a nice penis. Sounds good. Claims that penis. Claims that his the head of his penis is uh, very nice shape. shape. It's sounding good. Yeah. That's a great Jerry Springer. You see the guy on camera and underneath it says, uh, Joshua, girlfriend's dick is bigger than his. (laughs) Hey, uh, Siobhan, show him your vagina. See if he can uh, stomach it. Just give him a little flash of that thing. All right. I got to take these off. Yeah, take off your headphones and show him your vagina. (laughs) All right. Take a look at this. Fred, get ready with the screams. You got it. What is that thing there? Oh, that's that's a fentanyl patch. A what? Arthritis and oh fentanyl my God. patch. Oh, Jesus. Are you shaking? Are you scared? No. You're shaking, Siobhan. Look at the, that. The pussy's quivering. Don't be scared. Look at the hair on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive. I trimmed my pubes last night just for this. Do you see the amount of bush on Siobhan? I That's didn't not bad see for that. a chick, though. A chick? Okay, a guy. <laughs> oh, throw up. What I'm, was that big ugly patch? Nice what yeah, was that big ugly patch nice on your? Because I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be able to have. I'm not going to be able to have sex with you if you're not nice to me. Yeah, well, you I'm got nice a Let Howard make the joke. He just said I'm your just patch. I'm just being silly. I'm he, trying to have a good sense of humor because it's a comedy show. He just said your bush looks nice. Right. Yeah, I know. He's he's really. Turn around. Um, let me see your ass. Oh. <laughs> He just said, what is that thing there? That's some dick you two are on. No, let, yeah, let me really. see your ass. Well, since you like guys, you... We got Nicorette patches there. I'm a, I'm, a little, I'm a little weak in the ass. Oh, Look at that ass. Oh, you're right. oh. <laughs> She's a little weak in the That's ass. Department, she says. Yeah. What do you think are your good Ooh. points? <laughs> you think you could bang that, my friend? Um, if I say I can, I can. Whatever right. you set your mind to do, you can't. Why don't you bang her in the ass? This is a can-do kind of no, guy. No, 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 no. That, that would no. defeat the purpose. Yeah, no, no, it's a, it's to break in her vagina. Oh, it is. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. You're still it's a virgin, a right, Can Siobhan? we get a bottle of champagne yes. to break over it? I'm still a virgin. Right. And, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'd am be into it. All right, there we go. All right, we've got a date. Done deal. I'm not D- sure if that's good news or not, but we're going to have fun. I like your rainbow deal, necklace, too. Sh- Siobhan, deal? My pride necklace. Or no deal? I think I'm going to give this guy a try. All wow. Right. All right, here we go. Done deal. Dave, right? Call me Katie K, please. 
God K- forbid anybody K-D-K. in my family find K-D-K. out. KDK. Okay. KDK. Oh, KDK. 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 I'm a very famous you, prank caller on the, the Stern, internet. Are you on the Stern Fan Network? Yes, I'm on SFN as KDK. I posted some prank calls that I did to... I pranked George Takei one day. I told him I was Carson from uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, and we were going to do a celebrity <laughs> version and remodel his house and shit. <laughs> Where is that? I haven't heard that. It's, uh, it's up on SFN oh. in the oh. prank section. Okay, very good. I'm totally addicted to that site now. Stern it's, Fan Network? Oh, my God. It's yeah. it's like doing crack. It's I can't <laughs> stop. I'm, I'm, I'm up like uh, from midnight to 4 a.m. on there. Well, there you go. Night. Awesome. Yep. Well, that's Mutt and his gang. And uh, Well, it looks like a love connection has been yeah. made. Now, what you do is go back to Siobhan's apartment. Call right. me. Is this happening now? now is yeah, there a shower happen. at the apartment? There's a bathtub. Wow. Okay, that's even better. We're going <laughs> to need about 300 degrees so I can boil in there for a little while afterwards. Yeah, I've got Epsom Maybe we'll salts. Maybe we'll take a bath together. I've got Clorox. I've got... Clorox. Clorox. <laughs> I'm going to dip my dick in uh, rubbing alcohol and set it on fire afterwards. <laughs> Sounds to me like you guys need to uh, use protection and stuff. I wouldn't oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't want Siobhan yeah, pregnant. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I've been Imagine feeling like I've been going like. through menopause. Like. All right, Mike, you're on the air. Say hi from Boston. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Right. Now. I'm on my way to work, and man, she, Siobhan, whatever this freaking thing is, is grossing me out. I'm like getting <laughs> nauseous, ready to puke on 495. You can't yeah. even see it. Well, drive safely, for God's sake. Well, sakes. you two are adults. You're allowed to go have sex. Uh, there's certainly nothing to stop you from doing this. Uh, I wish you luck doing it. People do it all the time. Uh, I don't know your personal health histories, but uh, the, go at it and uh, do whatever you but want. But glove your, up, yeah. Uh-huh. Glove up, I would say. Uh-huh. You know, you two don't really do know each other. Do they make a other. condom that covers the ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> I've got dental dams if you want to do that. Double or um, triple up, man. Both might be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, then what? saran wrap for your legs. What is it, Benji? Siobhan, I have a biological question for you. You still have? Sure. A, do you still have a prostate? Yeah, I do. Did they hook any of the tubes up that make like the prosthetic fluid? Like actually, when you ejaculate? yeah, it does. Oh. oh. So when you orgasm, your ejaculate will still come out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna be so sick. I still <laughs> can get wet. Oh. Ah. You mean you really can have an orgasm? I, I've already had like a multiple orgasm. Oh really? I, I had one I had one once when I had a penis I had a multiple orgasm and I almost drove my car off the road from that. And then uh I've after the surgery using vibrators I've had like a multiple orgasm. Let go, okay. you're on the air in Long Island. Yo, KDK, what's up, man? Listen, here here's the bottom line. My like, nigga Doctor Lego. Talk the size of a symbol, man. <laughs> What is what? that? What? It's Katie K's got the cock the size of a thimble. No, I'm the perfectly average. Guy. Nothing How to brag about. Know? Nothing to make How fun of. How would you really? know what KDK has? Hey, listen. He's, I, I know this guy. I'm telling you. The other problem is, you know, you, if you're going to do this Siobhan chick, you better put like three or four of these <laughs> Yeah. I, I, want, I want to find a condom. If, it, if it's not available, I want to invent it. A condom that covers the ball sack. Yeah. Just so they don't well, slap well, into the well, thing. And then, and well, why don't you two kids... Anything that makes you last long, because it takes me a while to get off. Okay. All I right. haven't masturbated or had sex in three or four days, so I don't know if I can promise that. Well, there you know, you it go. might be so wonderful. Ha- I'm Howard. done in 15 seconds. <laughs> Howard, one thing. My daughter's here. Uh, does Artie want to meet her at all? Can I do your daughter next? Uh, no. Artie, can you that be, like, you can that be d- like a reward for doing it? Artie, yeah, want- while they're doing it, take the daughter to lunch. <laughs> Artie, you want to uh, ask the daughter out while you get a chance? Yes, let's bring her in. All right, bring her in real quick. This is Helene, who's gorgeous. And this is who Siobhan wants to look like. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, unfortunately, Siobhan's a man. Well, no, <laughs> unfortunately, my puberty went wrong. Right. And, you know. There's Helene. Puberty Everything went wrong. Went That's the way to put it. <laughs> Hi, Helene. How are you? We caught her in mid-bite. Helene, <laughs> 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 what's going on? What you been you eating? Eat? What did you eat? What did you eat? pretzels. She's <laughs> eating pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Hi, Helene. How are you? Good. We want to finish your pretzel? Do you need some water? <laughs> Gary, some wh- water. You want some whiskey? <laughs> whiskey. Why don't you let her finish her f- food before she came in? I could use a shot. All right. <laughs> well, Artie likes to eat, too. Artie will take you out to a good lunch. That's right. Nice. What are you eating, Helene? Pretzels. Pretzels, all right. Okay, very good. Now, uh, you, you've you expressed interest in Artie. Artie thinks that your your dad is putting you up to See, this. See, I don't think she's expressed any interest in him. Yeah. Are you still interested in Artie? 
Um, well, I just got out of a relationship, so I'm not really interested in anyone right now, but... Oh. You could go She's to lunch with the field. Or the, yeah. you, you dating? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Is Siobhan putting you up to dating Artie? Or? No. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It's not yeah. like she's, she no, she's, it's <laughs> like, Artie, what do I say? <laughs> Artie, you were, you were saying, this is exactly what happened. I heard you saying on the air that you would like to date Helene. And so I called her up. I said, would you like to date Artie? And she said, okay. And so then that's that. Is that what know? happened? Oh, wow. Helene. Um, Helene, you don't really want to date Artie, though. You can tell me. I'll go on a date. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Oh, she's not yeah. enthusiastic about <laughs> it. Artie, I would, no. I would, Artie, I would It's do. not like that. I'm... Yeah. No, I'll go on a date with Artie. I like think Artie. she's saying she's, she's not ready to jump into a relationship. Well, neither is Artie. Artie just got out of yeah. a relationship. Right. They're in the same so place. It's perfect. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's that's perfect. right. I forgot about my situation. She just doesn't seem that enthusiastic. Right. Well, she's, she's, like, well, she's nervous. She's on the No, show. you're it's doing like, all the talking. Why don't you let no, Helene I'm talk? I'm not enthusiastic yeah. about dating anyone right now. Right. Well, maybe it's a bad time for Artie. Yeah, he needs someone. Yeah, he doesn't need you, you yeah. know. He could go off the deep end. Rejecting him. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I, I, I've dealt with rejection you on sound this as, level. You sound as excited as KD sounds about fucking your dad. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, KD? What do you think of him having sex with your dad? Um, I think he's he sounds really nice. Right. And um, if if he wants to do it, and if they're gonna, you know, get along, and if they're gonna have a good time, then fine. Uh, Does he sound nice? You think he sounds like yeah. a nice guy? Mm-hmm. Have you seen your dad's vagina? Uh, no. <laughs> what? I don't want to know. No, he never showed it to you. No. Sometimes like, the girls get together and show each other. No, vagina. no, no, no. They don't get no. into the same no, dressing room. Mother and daughter. I'm sorry. Mother and mother daughter. Mother and daughter. You're not our mother. You're her you're father. Dad. Parent. You know. <laughs> yes. Our TV has a still photo of. Uh, no, I'm not interested. Come on, no. come on, no, come on, no, come on. Stop it. That's not right. The, don't don't do don't drugs. do that. No, that's no not we're right. not. They're out there. They're out there programming stupid stuff for my kids. Yeah. Helene, where did you grow up? Um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, outside yeah. of Philly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mom took care of the kids. The mom, yeah. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are those tattoos, Siobhan? Uh, it was a thing I went through, like. Uh, Back when I could afford it, and it was like I was going through like a rough time, and the pain of them helped me. Yeah, but what are they? Uh, what is that thing up there? This? Yeah. That's a crazy cat from oh. Crazy Cat Cartoons, and there's Betty and Veronica. And then this is one, uh, this kid, Mike Diana, who got arrested in Florida <laughs> for putting out a. a Obscene comic book, you know. Do you realize how ugly those tattoos are? They're yeah, ugly. they are. Yeah. Yeah. They're the but worst these, tattoos yeah. I've ever seen. Well, no, these are nice. Everybody no. always compliments these ones. Mm. Well, they're trying to do something. What is that one right there? Because they're afraid you'll kill them. What is that one right there? <laughs> this, this, these are this uh, girl that I had a very brief fling with, and <laughs> before I all those know. pictures of girls or a girl you had a fling with. Yeah. Yeah. The, the girl with the blue face? Yeah, yeah. She she has a rock band called The Voluptuous Horror of Karen Black. And, <laughs> uh, Karen Black, the actress? No, no, no. no. She's, she's more of an underground performer. All right, artist. listen, enough of this horse shit. <laughs> I'm not it's, setting up your daughter sinking. with Artie. Artie, you're not going out with the daughter, are you? Why? You know, it doesn't sound like she wants to do anything, and that's yeah, fine. You don't want to go do lunch? She said no. I'll do lunch. She'll no, do you're she'll forcing do lunch. Lunch. I think it would be you're fine. You're forcing a relationship. No, no that's not, not, that's not right. Date, not a relationship. It's just like, go have lunch. I Artie, think it would be fine. I'd, I'd go out to lunch. I, I don't know. We took to Artie's call. looking at you. Don't like, look at me. Yeah, yeah, see, look, look at the, it's the mom and the dad here and the two kids. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, pal. Where do you go to lunch on a date? I never do one on a to lunch the date. To the Ayurvedic restaurant. <laughs> you want to go to Arcaveda? <laughs> Arcaveda. <laughs> All right, we'll go on a lunch date. We'll go right. on a lunch date. All right, there you go. Okay. That's Very nice. I'll get your pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> Just slow down no on the pretzel. <laughs> slow down on the pretzels. You're going to lose your appetite. I don't even like pretzels. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Siobhan, would you call us when you get to your apartment so I can hear the banging? Sure. I want an update uh, while this is going on. And uh, Dave or is KDK. Is the film crew coming? Uh, film crew's coming. Film and, crew's going. And Richard Christie's coming so he can report back to <laughs> us. Uh, we have an on the scene reporter. Maybe a threesome. 
With who? You, you know, my Richard, boyfriend might be down to, to not, tag team you. Get Richard? Then that's a foursome. We'll get Richard. No, why don't you two? Why don't you start with one? No, I just yeah, we'll warm up with one. One on one, yeah. All right, Katie K. Uh, good luck to you. I'll need it. All right, and I guess if you are able to successfully bang Siobhan, Zolar will let you off the hook for your debt. Yes. Just right. remember that while you're doing this. You mm-hmm. could gain a lot. How much <laughs> money do you owe Zolar? Seventeen hundred. All right. Well, this he's trying to put a spin on it, saying I owe more, but it's seventeen hundred. That must be a fun oh. position to be in in life, owing Speaking Zolar of money, money. One more thing: Is it possible? Like, could, could I come here and like work for a month for free and no. see if I could get <laughs> no. a job? No. What do you want to do? <laughs> I, anything. Point me at a job. Artie's say, assistant. do it, and I'll do it. <laughs> I don't need you know, assistant. I really need work. Really. Is bad. your daughter gonna put out for Artie? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm that, just kidding. That, that's not nice. Siobhan, to say. I'm kidding. You know that. No, there's no job for you here. Oh, please. No. What job do I have for you? Just. I what mean, do you want to do? Me, you start- just, if I come in, like you know, for a couple hours every day, and you like want someone Gary to says, see if he needs you yeah. for something. Would you be the person in charge of inducing vomit in our guest? <laughs> sure. All right. Whatever. Wait Whatever. a minute. I mean, any chick with a bedazzler, though, is valuable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could buy condoms for Artie. Right. That's Things, it. You, you could know, bedazzle start, the condom. You know. All right. Listen. Let's start with Data you. Data entry. Anything. Right. Here, you we'll asked. Stop. You wanted to meet a guy who was willing to bang you in that fake vagina of yours. I found one for you. He's a reasonably nice guy. His name is Dave KDK. Right. Why don't you go do that and okay. concentrate on the, the mission at hand? One thing at a time. And see if you can't lose your virginity to Dave. And then move nice. and then move on from there, all right? All can right. I, can all I right. ask a couple questions real quick, Alex? Yes, Richard, sure. go ahead. First of all, there's zero chance of me getting involved with this <laughs> in right, any stud. way. We're I'm just going to report. But you like but penis. No, no. Oh. No, definitely not. Maybe Sal's, what but not a yours. disappointment. But is there, like, is there cat poop all over your floor? Do I need boots or no, something? No, I, I mopped. Did, didn't I mop? Vacuum yeah. and mop. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's, you grew up in a nice. barn. Yeah, he's got <laughs> fish heads hanging Yeah, but on cat the poop is the worst smelling poop there is. I just <laughs> did the litter boxes. I mopped the floor. Now, if they're doing poops right now, I mean, it's in the litter box. And hey, and hey, there's Siobhan. one that likes to go in the bathtub, but I can <laughs> clean it. <laughs> Siobhan, did you braid your hair back there? No, oh. my hair is... I, I'm so upset about that. What happened to your can, hair? Can Ralph give me, like, extensions What or is something? with your hair? My hair, yeah, it's andro- androgenic. Uh, what's that? What's that word called? Take off your babushka. Let me see oh, what's God. doing. Oh, there. come on! The guy has to go sleep with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 Androgenic oh, oh. alopecia. Oh, oh. I look like Polly Shore now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, this, the camera guy oh, has run away. <laughs> this for the is side. this is my greatest shame, and it destroys my self esteem. Yeah, I, I could see could, that. Could, yeah. could Ralph like? Give me extensions. Or I don't know something. what Ralph could do for that. I really don't know. He might be able to. No. I mean, well, maybe. Why don't you talk to him? All right, listen. Why don't you get your babushka back on with all the pretty jewels on it and take your bald head and your tits and your fake vagina and get out of here and get have sex before this stuff. guy goes heading for Z Hill. <laughs> You know, with good hair, you'd look like Pam Anderson. It's a shame. I know. I used to have a nice mop of hair. On Can you put head. your headphones on? All right, listen. You two get out of here. Helene, good luck with okay. your lunch date with R.D. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a good guy. He's a good man, so you, you, you're in good hands. And Siobhan, I wish you luck. And Dave, I wish you luck. Do you wish your dad luck in having sex today? Good luck. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, isn't that nice? Well, it's nice to see a daughter who wishes her dad luck about having sex with his fake vagina. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? I'm ex- getting excited now. This is like a road never crossed yet. Well, this is going to be a big deal for you. This is the day you get to uh, be a real woman. Yay. Oh my God, something might happen. It's finally today. happening. KDK, how are you feeling, man? Um, I'm feeling like I'm stoned out of my mind, but I'm not. And, uh, I'm going to do it anyway. It's that surreal for you right now. Yeah. 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 Siobhan. Siobhan, this is your big moment. Oh, my God. I didn't know I was going to do this today, but I guess if it works out, it's going to work out. We'll see what happens. Helene, are you excited that uh, this could be the... Yeah. The end of the virginity? Fortunately, she'll be safely with Artie eating lunch. Yeah, what's going on with you two? Is this like a real love connection, or or is Siobhan kind of forcing this on you? No, there's no forcing. 
But how do you feel about Artie? Like, are you, did you you got a chance to see him? He's a funny guy. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah. Are you attracted to him physically? <laughs> It's I'm not. Too it's too early to tell. That's not a very good answer. <laughs> what about what about you? Think you think Artie's a good-looking guy? I I really think he is a good-looking guy. Like in like Gleason is a good-looking guy. Jackie Gleason. It's like I mean. He's you got can that honeymooners still see appeal. It. You can still see it in his face, you know. If he just drops it, you know, drops yeah, weight. yeah. But I mean, if he would drop weight, it would be more for health reasons than looks. Right. Because he looks good. Having or thin. Right. The thing is, it's a health s situation that's exactly. that's here, and that's what I think everyone's concerned about. You right. know. So, Helene, are you looking forward to this? Is it going to be a? You know, yeah. you said you just got out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will be a good way to you know take your mind off of it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where are you guys going on a lunch date? I guess. Yeah. All right. I, well, I think theirs is going to be more relaxed than mine. Yeah, you know? there's a lot of pressure Mine's, on you. Oh my God, I'm all like, I don't know what to think now. It's like, we'll see how this goes. He sounds like a really sweet guy, so I'm hoping he knows what to do in bed with. Me. So so far, he's he's met your criteria that you. Yeah, said. yeah, yeah. Very sweet guy. All right. Well, I hope this works out. I hope you. Um, I hope the next time we hear from you, you're no longer a virgin. Me too. All right. Good luck today. <laughs> Richard. Richard. Dude, how you feeling, man? I'm a little nervous, but I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll survive. I'll be a trooper. It's part of my job. And you're, you you seem really worried about this cat poop situation. Yeah, cat poop is the worst. It's worse than human poop. It Why? What's so stinks. rank about it? It just I don't know what cats eat, but it reeks. It just I don't know. Cats have a weird diet, and it gives their poop just the grossest smell. I'll, I'll probably puke a, a few times, but it'll sound funny, I guess. So all for the show. Yeah, it's for the show. You're uh, a 110% type of guy. Yeah, thanks. All right. I'm dedicated to my craft. I, I can I can appreciate that. <laughs> well, thank you. All right. Good luck today. Thank you. Katie K and I are ready to go to my apartment and make mad, passionate love together. Here we go. So we're getting ready to head over to Siobhan's house. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I think these two are excited. Um, they're going to consummate their relationship here in about 15, 20 minutes, so it should be fun. So what are you doing to get psyched up for this? Like, what's going through your mind? Now? Oh, like I said, I'm just trying to think of it as like a jackass stunt. Yeah. I yeah. wish you wouldn't say that, because that, yeah, that kind of that kind of turns her off. Yeah, that kind of turns her off. feel good. I, I don't like degradation. Okay. I don't How about like, like pulling your hair a little? There's no hair to pull. Slapping? <laughs> pull slapping. it from the back. <laughs> Do you like slap, if he slaps your ass? Or? Nah, I... No, not not right off the bat. It's like, kissing? Are you guys gonna look, be kissing? Look, I like oh, yeah, kissing. Like real. Well, he's not. In, he didn't want to kiss. It didn't sound. No. Like. How is this gonna work? The thing is, I'm I'm like I'm, I'm like multiple personality because of going through this to begin with. I had to create a male persona so I could survive childhood and adolescence. All right. Well, when you get angry, kind of the male. Yeah, part he comes does out, right? come out. And What's his name? Bill. And you don't want him to come out. So don't go porno on me because he'll come out. Because Melody, who's the 16-year-old who holds my libido, she's the fragment of my personality that has a libido. She's only 16, so you gotta consider her as if you would consider a 16-year-old girl. You gotta be so, gentle. Right. Yeah. Or else Bill will come out. Right, and, yeah, then, and then it'll get, get real scary. But Melody is the personality that'll come out while that, you're making yeah, love? Yeah, hopefully she'll she'll come out. You do a different because voice she for holds not, uh, It's weird. I, I don't want to even get into that detail yet. We'll get into that later. Maybe I'll do voice. Do you like missionary or how? What kind of position? Yeah, it's like we could start like with missionary and then see where it goes from there. You know, because I've like, never done a guy before, so I don't I don't know how this is going to be. So. This is like the ultimate taxi cab confession. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Now where are we going? Where are We're going, going right down here. Yeah. They don't have spermicide, I hope. Don't, don't get the ones with spurs. No, because I, 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 I have a reaction to it. They're off.
Well, well, I mean, he, done. You, you don't want that? Yeah, I just make sure they come back there. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be in front of you. Well, no, let's see. Let's we'll when we're up see there, what happens. Yeah. Yeah. For me, oh, this yeah, has to be real. Taking all the proper medical precautions. And uh, I'm kind of, I'm really nervous. Because I can't, I can't take the smell of cats. Well, here we are, Katie K. This is my humble abode. There's my bags of cat shit from the litter boxes I just cleaned oh, last night. Number one, do not open the door without notifying me because I don't want any cats to get out. Rule number two, no smoking. Rule number three, watch your feet at all times so you don't step on anybody's hands or tails. Uh, this is brutal. Oh my God. <coughs> so I'm here with KDK and Siobhan. They're getting ready to uh, consummate their relationship and how you guys feeling are you excited oh yeah i'm uh ecstatic oh yeah are yeah. you you think you can go through with this i'm gonna try all right what about you Siobhan? my guts are in knots right now you're excited uh i don't know if it's excited or scared or both yeah well it's, it's gonna be you guys will have gnarly. fun i think you guys make a good Good couple. I hope it works out. I and just, what is, yeah. now tell the camera, what is this that you this have? This is the stent that I would have to insert into my vagina after the surgery to keep it from closing because like right after the surgery, it could have just closed up if I didn't do this. And I had to do it like every day, you know, for like a half hour every day. Now I only have to do it a couple of times a week, you know, and it's like, now it's become basically a hygiene item because it helps keep me clean in there and stuff. You know. So, it, so it, like you would almost heal if you didn't put that in. Yeah, there? but not anymore. Now it's oh. it's it's pretty pretty set the way it's going to be. And as I was saying on the show, after like about five years, it'll be real vaginal tissue. Oh, okay. It, it won't be cock tissue. Penile anymore. tissue. So. All right. So are we ready to get this started. Yep, let's go see what happens. So, so I'm, I'm going to see, see where, where all, all the other guys, guys are going to fail. This will be, be forgiving, forgiving all that. that. Put, Put the, the thought, thought out of my, my head, pretend it's a real, real woman, woman, and uh, mm. go, to go to town. town. Marky, Marky Mark, Mark has, has a third, third nipple. nipple. That's, That's not that big a deal. I can, I can get, get it, it off. off. It's, it's not, not as much a horror show as you might expect. expect. If, if I, I say, say it, I can. I can. Whatever, Whatever you set your mind to do, you can. can. I'm, I'm not, not a guy. guy. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm still a virgin. virgin. It's, it's gotta, gotta be done, done right. right. I mean, I, mean, I have, have to be in the mood. mood. Otherwise, Otherwise, I'm not, not going to have, have fun, fun and, and then why, why should, should I, I do it? it? It's, it's my, my first sexual encounter as a woman. It, it may be the only sexual encounter I have as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see what's going on if Siobhan lost her virginity. Oh, some people are calling in saying they don't want to hear Shaban lose his virginity, but... What, they want her to stay a virgin? Yeah, I mean, how selfish. <laughs> hey, uh, Richard, what's up? 
So, okay, we've been waiting for you guys to come back. Siobhan's been in the bathtub with her dildo getting ready, and uh, KDK is getting fluffed by his boyfriend in the bedroom. Oh, jeez. So I think what's going to happen, Siobhan, I think we're ready. She's going to run right into the bedroom and hop on top of him. All right. Supposedly he's. Why don't you give right the uh, Why don't you give the phone to uh, Siobhan and KDK so we can hear what's going on if this is successful or not? Okay. Well, right, she's getting ready to run in there. Hey, let's go, Siobhan. She's in the bathtub right, right now. All right. We'll give the phone to Siobhan. Okay, Siobhan, here. Here, describe what's going on to Howard. Hey, Siobhan. Howard. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. I'm I'm ready I'm ready to put his penis in a hammerlock with my persuscular muscu- musculature. Here. And what do you have to do again to prepare your vagina, your your fake vagina for this kind of sexual activity? You have to put a stint in it? Well, no, I was just doing that to loosen myself up since there's been, there's not any foreplay going on here. There's no romance. It's right. like it's basically a it's like a wrestling match, you know. <laughs> He's probably going to come in about a minute. I don't know about that. Well, so you went and what you did was prepare yourself by with a dildo or something? Yeah, just for my own sake so that I'm loose and I'm ready to give him the juice. And you gave him, and you put KY and everything in there? No, I use uh, I use uh, Lily of the Desert, ninety nine percent certified organic aloe vera jelly. It's right. the best lube in the world. <laughs> all right, let me. Sp- all right, vera. let's let. Well, let me hear if this is successful. Is he laying on the bed? Hopefully, he is. I'm in the bathroom. All right, hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Time is money. I'm gonna follow her into the bathroom, Howard. Well, where is uh, KDK? He's in the bedroom laying down, supposedly erect. He's been getting fluffed. We're walking through the kitchen now. I'm right behind Siobhan. She's fully nude. Oh, is it vile? Walking into the bedroom. Oh, my God, he is erect. No, oh, there might be a touchdown here. Oh, my God. Right, let me okay. speak to Siobhan and uh, KDK. Put the phone near them. Okay. You guys, Howard wants to talk to you. He's putting the rubber on right now. Right, let me talk to KDK. Okay, KDK, how's it going? Hey, Howard. All right, you think you can go through with this? Um, yeah, but it better be right away. He's totally naked I'll, in front of me. I'll talk to you while he does it. Does he look like a woman at all to you? He's, he, he, she's living up my cock and she's about to jump All right, on. let's see if it happens, Robin. Let's see if Siobhan is, uh... Oh, here we go. All right, let's oh, see. Oh, my. I'm completely erect. Oh, oh no! And we're oh, in... Uh, What's happening? Does, 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 it, does it feel like a woman there? Yeah, it does. It, it feels like a woman. Is it tight? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh my God. And is he riding you? I think Richard's throwing up. Let me speak to Richard. I'm just trying to keep my mind off. Let me speak to Richard. Richard. <laughs> oh my god. Richard. Richard. Hello. What's going on? Oh, you... this is the craziest thing I've ever let seen. Let me talk now. to Siobhan real quick and then let me talk back to you. He's still throwing up. Siobhan. Siobhan. Howard wants to talk to you. Hold on. Okay. He's trying to get me into a weird position. But... What position are you in now? I don't want to get on my back. Cause get on you your back. On top? Oh, he lost it. He lost it. He lost his arousal. Oh. God, did you oh. come? Oh my God! I said it's done. Oh my God! Oh, it was going so great, and then all of a sudden it just like uh, a spare tire. Let me speak to him. I'll find out what happened. No, it's not going to get hard again for like a while. Let me speak to him. Here, here. Hello. What went wrong? Um, it's like he got a leak in, in his tire. <laughs> he must have opened his eyes, Robin. Oh, jeez, that wasn't a good move. Oh, uh, okay, Howard, so he's soft again. Uh, it didn't work out. What but, happened? But, but technic- you know what, though? He did it. He went through with it. I mean, he was in there, and they were going at it hard and heavy. What happened? Why do you think it, it all went away? Did he open his eyes? I, well, he said it was from, you know, trying to talk on the phone while he was doing it. I see. That, that uh, was my you fault. You can't have right, any I uh, distractions. I see. Like I, thought, I thought you needed a distraction with that. <laughs> I wonder how it felt for Siobhan and how it felt for him. Let's find out. Siobhan, how did that feel? Siobhan. Hold on. He's taking the rubber off and Siobhan's yelling at him. Siobhan, tell Howard how that felt. Howard. How did it feel? It felt really good. 
But it's, it's over. really good. He he's a nice size. He wasn't like super big. He wasn't bigger than the stent. So that was good because see then I was able to accommodate him really well. Did it feel did it feel good to you? Did you were you Yes. Oh my god, it felt great. But I no was orgasm. It lasted longer. Yeah. What position were you in? Were you on top? Yeah, I was on top. Why did you refuse to change positions? Because uh, my legs were getting bent backwards all funny, and it was starting to hurt my legs. Well, you're a woman now, aren't you? Yeah, it, I just wish it would have lasted longer. Wait, let me see if I can get KDK on here. Hold on a second, if you don't mind. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, KDK, you there? I'm here. Yeah. What What? What happened, man? You, what, what, well, first of all, I had a burner for like 10 minutes before they came in. Yeah. And then I'm trying to talk on the phone while I'm fucking. If you guys just let me alone and do it, I could have done it. All right. Well, at least she had some action there. You yeah. don't think it's oh coming back, huh? How did it feel, Katie? Kate, did it feel like a woman's privates? It felt like an open wound. <laughs> but did it feel different oh, from an actual... It did not. No, it did not feel like a vagina. It didn't feel like an ass. It felt like it fucking... felt like a vagina. Uh, an ear he or something. So. I know, he I really want to know, Siobhan. Like one. Well, you know how a pussy can grip and grab the same cat? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it, it did. <laughs> I didn't feel nothing. <laughs> he was saying it felt like one. What's he? He's lying yeah, now. Why is he I don't want to get you when I'm trying to finish. He was trying to go through with it. Right. KDK, honestly, now I really want to understand this. You've been with real women. Yeah. And you're saying that the fake mangina has no Bullshit. has no grip. It, it doesn't grip and grab. There's like suction. It is it tight though. So. It's tight. It is tight. But it just stays that one way. Right. Exactly. No, yeah, it's because I was squeezing them. Okay, or maybe it's like fucking one of those, uh, you know, those fuck dolls or something. Right. Right. Not that I've ever done that, but uh, uh, that's just what I imagine a real doll would feel like. Well, Siobhan, you're arguing with him. He's giving us a blow-by-blow blow of what it felt like. He's an asshole. He's lying. He was sitting. He was laying no, underneath me. I'm not lying. I've been completely honest since I got on the air today. He was laying underneath me going, it feels just like a woman's cunt. I asked you to get on your back, and you're like, no, 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 no. If you're down on your back... I my knees were getting bent, and they were hurting. Uh, my knees were hurting. Waiting 10 minutes while I had a boner waiting for you to come in. How are your knees hurting? I mean, you were having sex for two seconds. The guy tells you to get on your back. You, you, you... No, because he was pushing me backwards, and he wasn't letting me get I up. I do the positions I'm used to. Well, it sounds like rough sex. Yeah, he was just going too fast and everything. He, he had no, no like, style. But I got to tell you, I like the feel of a real cock. All right, well, there it is. I, li- I like the way the head felt in there. Good it for was you. Really yeah, nice. nice congratulations, Siobhan, and congratulations to you, KDK. All right, there you have it, Robin. You've uh, heard it all now. Uh, I'm KDK, cl- let's just wrap up. KDK claims it does not feel like a real man. I'm going to throw the fuck up. <laughs> Howard Stern, KDK exclusive. Well, well, how would you know? Because he was telling me it felt like a woman's vagina while he was, I was on top of him. Well, I said why. He said because he didn't want to insult you. Men will lie no, during he's sex. An asshole. Right. Well, there well was now a- you know what it's really like to be a man. Like that. <laughs> after I was so nice to him and invited him to my abode to have a, after a, a morning pleasure experience, and then he sits and says nasty things about me. Well, Siobhan, whatever you want to say, the man took your virginity. He tried, yeah. He did his yeah, best. And, it, and it, it, it just, yeah, like all men, he failed to make me come. All right. Well, that's not an easy task. I'm sure it will be not easy for any I'm man. I'm your bathtub, Siobhan. <laughs> Yeah. I'm peeing in your bathtub. You better not. I'll kick your ass. Too late. What's going on? All right. All right. Why don't you guys... I'm going to have to go. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. You too. Did she use the towel? Did you use the towel? No idea. That's not here. I am not. Hmm. Hmm. Don't well, know what to make of that. It was gross. That is gross, but uh, listen, uh, Siobhan has a right to use his mangina any way he wants. And KDK has a right to use his penis any way he wants. And I've learned in this country, you have to have the freedom to use your mangina. <laughs> and there it is. Brian, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, uh, that is the nastiest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, what's amazing is that Siobhan 
is amazed that somebody doesn't think that that pussy doesn't feel real. I know. Well, listen, he he paid a lot of money for yeah, that. Yeah, that put uh, Siobhan in debt. Mm -hmm. No one wants to hear it doesn't feel real. <laughs> Very upset. All right, Howard. All right, Thank we'll look for that on Howard TV. I'm sure it's going to be an excellent episode. I guess this was a successful mission. Uh, how do you guys feel? I'm disappointed it didn't go all the way. You were, you were ready to go longer? Yeah, we were waiting too long to come back from the break. Yeah. And then talking on do the you phone know and you puking. And the I know, it wasn't the, the perfect... Yeah, you ruined it. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it, but it's not the perfect circumstances then for why, romance. Wh so. why, why didn't you just stay with Sal and, and jerk off together and send <laughs> someone who would have report. appreciated it? <laughs> Who's going like to appreciate this? Like send Will or somebody. <laughs> you think he's going to appreciate this? Yeah. Don't take offense that I threw up. I don't want you guys to be offended that I threw There's up. There's got to be some kind I of just, I've never seen a live or... sex show. There's got to be some kind of prize for me for doing this. I deserve something. Well, we the, both did. Call something. the show and ask them. I, that's not up to me, but that's up to Gary and Howard and all them. But we both deserve. I didn't something. mean to. I didn't mean to throw up. I've just never seen live sex this before. Is a, so. This is a <laughs> first. What? Mr. I've never Corno seen a live sex show. You never went to a live sex show. Never before? have. So oh don't be offended God. that I like vomited or anything. Never but, saw the but animals it, you know what? fucking I mean, in your barn. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys uh, consider this a success? Or? No, I think it's a failure. You know what, you went far, you, but you went farther than any other guy has. I yeah. didn't come, but I felt it was a success because I got to feel a real penis. Yeah, you lost your... It was awesome. You lost your uh, post-surgery virginity. I'm so sick of fucking plastic. <laughs> A real penis. And I mean, you gotta look at it. it like this: when when people lose their virginity, it usually only lasts a few seconds. Exactly. So, right? <laughs> exactly. so you can't totally consider this a failure. Uh, one final call from Siobhan, then I gotta take a break. Siobhan, you're on the air. Hello. Hey, Siobhan. Hey, dude, how's it going? Good. Hey, I've been pretty depressed lately, and I've been wondering. With good reason. <laughs> Huh? I don't blame Just you. Just lately? <laughs> Why, that guy who fucked you hasn't called? <laughs> well, of course not, you know. And that got, got like me wondering, like, do you really hate me or something? That Why? That hooked me up with that guy? No, you said to me you wanted to feel a human penis inside of you, and I said it's never going to happen unless I sort of, like, help, you know, get someone from the audience who's willing to do me a favor. I know, but you, you know. always, like, for all those other worse whack packers, you got them, like, hot porn stars. Oh, stop it. I, I can't control who... Siobhan, you're a pretty scary individual. I mean... Well, you... I Dude, you're a man who cut his penis off and had it shaped into a vagina. Understand no, what that not. is. I mean, and it's not like you're one of those freaky... Hurt. Hurt. And it's not like you're one of those freaky baby. guys who looks really good as a woman. I mean, you look like a dude. The pussy. I mean, think about that. I don't look like it. Do you wish you had your penis back? Be honest. No, I hated it. And this was the first time she so ever tried miserable. it out. I was no. so miserable. And dude, I, I mean, how could you say I hate you? I got you a guy to at least put his penis inside of you. Yeah, but then you also sent Richard, and and he fucked it all up. <laughs> well, he threw up. <laughs> he could. Well, he shouldn't have come out. then. Well, what what, 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 what? He's supposed to know that seeing you naked with a penis in your fake <laughs> vagina is going to not make him nauseous. He throws up at anything. Yeah, well. It just, like, ruined the whole thing. The guy was... <sighs> now, what ruined the whole thing is is that you don't have a real vagina. No, I do have a real vagina. Ah, uh, Siobhan, I fine. love you, pal, but you know what, it, it, dude... See, I don't know if you do, because love... I don't know, love implies caring, that you care about the person. I care about you. But the what guy, am I going to do? How come you can't, you can't get me a job there? Dude... What do you mean? Caring means I'm in charge of getting you things? No, it means that you would... I can't get you a job there because I don't have a job for people who just want free money, who aren't really trained I'm professionals. I'm about free money. I can but, work. Well, dude, I don't have a job for you. People don't get jobs here like that. Like, I don't t do pick people out and just give them jobs. Who would take me on? I don't have a job for you. What job do, do you do? Do you know an agent who would No, take what do you do? Voiceovers, anything. Voiceover? What do you think? Like, if, if everyone could do voiceover, don't you think we'd all be doing it? You yeah. got to go out. You got to go out and audition. There's auditions in the back of um, Variety, Variety and, and backstage, Hollywood backstage, Reporter, backstage. I don't and have an agent. I don't. Have you don't. But what do you think? You think any any person starting out in the business has an agent? What do you think? They just hand you an agent. You got to go out and audition no, and get I was work. Wondering if you guys knew anybody who could help me. No, no one can help you. How about I know someone who can help you? You go out and do these things. Go get yeah. backstage magazine and go out on auditions. You want to be an actor and you want to be in voiceover, 
And then you got to go take classes, and you got to you got to study. You got to learn how to to do character voices, and you got to go out and audition. Are, are all your guys like who are doing the lighting this weekend? Are they all union? Th these are guys who work in the television industry. Yeah, but they still need people to lug cables and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a job where you just lug around a cable. I was gonna say, what do you want to do? What would you want to do up here? Creative or manual yeah, labor? Anything. Anything. Like, 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 we have a job that says, do anything. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, it's outrageous. How would I help you with that? I mean, who do you think helped me? You think, what do you think? What do you think? I was some guy who, who everybody wanted to hire? I got out of college. I almost had a nervous breakdown. I was I know, like, what am I going to do? The trouble is, I'm not out of college. I'm sick. Believe me, college old. didn't help me. Well, that, that's, how am I going to help you? That's working against me so bad. Right? Well, why didn't you plan when you were 20? I jobs that I used to do because they just hire kids for those now. Well, what was your jo a job when you got, when you, when you were 20? I was, I was doing, like, they called it a Gumby. I, I'd work for a scenic design company and well, load in sets and set up. Well, and that's what you should go, that then go stuff. back and do that. I can't. They only hire kids. And anyway, my back, I can't actually do that. Well, they, so you can't do anything. You got a bad back. See, and then you're asking to lug cables yeah. and lights. And then you'll be up here. I can't do that. I got a bad back. Don't start whining if you get up here. I swear to Christ. And then you call in with dopey. I want to be your security well, well, guard. You don't have any experience. Then there's the other thing. You, you never, like, invite me to any of the roasts or anything like that. Well, what are you going to do on a roast? Because there's an audience member. Why would I invite you? I have people who call in on a regular basis. She'd be great. Try to have, oh, yeah. On the dance. Uh, it's <laughs> like, yeah, I go and make you your own little special porn film, and that's... I Siobhan, mean, I'm not, you're not my charity case that I sit and think about all day. Everybody wants me to help of them. Course, of course you don't think about anybody all day. No, I think about a lot of people. i got family. I've got friends. Right. I've got coworkers. Well, I have a lot of people I think, think about all day. I don't think about you all day. I'm sorry. I'm not your family. Love me if you, I, mean, I don't love you. You shouldn't say that then. You should say, Siobhan, I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't give a shit about you. I give a shit about any person. It's somewhere in between not giving shit about you and loving you. <laughs> right. Siobhan, you have a family, I assume. No, I don't. Well, then that's not my fault. Well, no, that's how you conducted I'm your not life. It is, but, you know, if you throw that word around as loosely as you do, then, you know. Siobhan, I'm trying not to insult you. You, lead people you said to me, do you love me? Do you love me? No, I'm not in love with you. No, not that way. But then why do you say it? Oh, my God. Uh, because you're pressing me and driving me fucking no, nuts. You do it. You do it. It's, I think you do it. To, like, goad me to do these things for your show. You don't have you to do anything for my show. You called me from. and said you wanted to get laid. And I got it for you. Yeah, we didn't suggest this no. to you. So now, now, why would I want to do anything for you? I did something for you, and now you're on here saying do more for me. And, and, and no, you're, no, I'm I've done more for you than most people. That, you need, that, that guy wasn't even, like, it wasn't even a thing that happened practically. Siobhan, there's nobody else who wants to fuck you. I'm sorry. I know. And Brad Pitt didn't call in when he heard you were available. Huh? She's like, why don't you get me a better guy? What better guy do I have? What do you think I have in my back pocket? I have guys Look who want to fuck up. how many guys we tried and people you know, just didn't show up. I just, as I said before, when, whenever... This is insane. For, one of, for Eric or anybody else, it was always some gorgeous <sighs> porn star. No. Why couldn't you find a decent porn guy? Because I don't have one available to me for you. Siobhan, that was... He didn't call in. A porn star offering. Yeah, no one contacted us. We've been talking about it. I haven't had a porn star. I have, but no porn star has called me and said, "Do you have a guy with a vagina?" Yeah, we don't solicit these people. They call in because they want to be on the show, and they okay. They say, "I'll fuck Eric," you know. I see. So it's only girls who really call in to solicit to be on your show. Yes. Look, we'd love for someone to fuck you. You're really catching on. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yo, Javon, too, I have a voiceover agent that I work with sometimes that I've actually hooked up some comedians with that I know and stuff. But even as a favor to me, the guy wouldn't meet you unless you had a tape of, of right. you doing stuff. Right. Like, and you, I don't have any way to make that. Anything yeah, well, of course, you, know, you don't have a way to do anything. You'd you, have to you, figure out a way to make every it. Every day you want to do something different. you got to concentrate on something. you got to train for something. What do you think? This shit just happens? The only person that ever happens to is Paris Hilton. And she's she's got a silver spoon in her mouth. Exactly, she's a she's yeah, a lot. You got to go out. I, I, you hear me talking about the early days of my career. Where I'm working 900 hours a day and not even getting paid, and I'm learning radio. That's what I did. 
You know, you figured out somehow how to how to, to, to chop off your cock. Figure out how to make a living. I'm dealing with like severe bigotry out here. It's, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of gay people who are working. Day. No, I'm not gay. You ever go over to Patricia Fields? There's tons of he she's working in there. I'm not a he she. Whatever the fuck you are, I don't know what you are. You That's another love, thing. No one knows what the hell fuck you're you are. To me. No one even knows what you are. Yeah, they do. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you what you sound like. Bigotry. I'm going to tell you what I sound like. Fucking bigotry, and just like listen to me talk to them. Maybe they would find out who I was. You listen. Most people who run a business are looking. They, they, they're called service businesses. You understand what a service business is? Yeah. Yeah. And they see you walk in in a dress with your bald head and bandanas and tattoos all over your place. How many places do you think you're employable? Right. Exactly. And you call that you call your, that uh, your organization is probably the only one that would employ. And what do you do? I don't have a need for you. What's your talent? What talent do you? Right. You write? Write what? I write. Anything Wait a second. Anything you want me to write. Anything, anything you want me to hold write. Hold on a second. You so, think that's a, you think that's what I say to Fred Fred? I need you to write anything you, you want to write. No, this guy has a very specific talent. Howard. He's a funny comedy writer who jibes with me. I mean, what do you think? I got a limited budget over here to hire people as a charity case? Okay. You haven't done a day of radio. You haven't yet you, you don't write no, you I haven't done a day on a comedy radio. show. You haven't done you haven't done anything. So Submit, Siobhan, then write stuff on spec. This is how people get jobs. Write some sketches. Right. That you how think did we'd Richard like. and, and Sal get here? Oh. Submitting bits. You gotta submit stuff. But yeah. Siobhan, here's where you lose credibility. Richard and Sal walk around with a tape recorder and a and a and a, and a, and a computer. They put together bits. They used to send them to me for free. And I, I got to hear them, and I thought they were talented. It took years before they worked here. Years. Okay. Yeah. See, you haven't done a thing. You don't understand how people get a job? No, you're no. just sitting at home upsetting yourself. You think I just saw so Richard came in and go, I need a job. And then all of a sudden, he just started producing shit? Come on. See, here's where Siobhan loses credibility. Didn't you call us last week and say you wanted to be our security guard? Well, Yeah. That wasn't but, last week. That was like a half a year ago. Yeah, and, I, and I'll go and I'll walk around in a business meeting with a guy with a, 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 an address, being my security <laughs> guard, who's never worked security before. That makes a lot of sense. Out of all the people in the world, I'm going to hire you to be security, and I got to be. So basically, I'm completely yeah. unemployable. Is what? Well, no, you can do phone work. You don't. You don't. You don't g apply for jobs that you're qualified, and you don't put in the time. I have a college degree. There's lots of people who who do lots of phone work and things like that, and you don't want to do it. What's your degree in? What do you mean? You want to drag Art. a cable around and have someone pay you. Art. Maybe it's that guy where Jeff works needs another person to look at that no, door. No, I was going to say, what's your degree in? And don't say a frame. It's in art. Art? It's in art. Yeah. Well, then why are you not working in the art business? You don't even have to show up at an office for that. day. What does your wife Be used to do? Be a graphic artist. Graphic yeah. artist. Wait. Graphic artist. You do graphic artist on a computer from home and email it. Because he probably doesn't even know how to work his computer. No, I don't. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So where have you been? You're sitting at home all day with those cats. Howard, you know what was a really uncomfortable moment when you were saying... You're like, unemployable because you sit in your house all day. No, I don't sit on my ass all day. I'm running around like crazy. Doing what? To make money to fucking pay my bills. But you're not, you're not trained in anything. How do you get I'm money? I'm hey, years old, and when I went to school, they didn't have that. Siobhan, are you taking a bath? No, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning mouse shit off of free cat food I got from a pet store. Why don't you become a dog walker? Right. You lazy fuck, Javon. What was the last I'm service you performed that got, earned you a paycheck? What was the last thing you did that earned you money? Wait, well, why I was can't a you? Vet tech, but they won't hire me for that anymore. A vet cat? Why won't vet a vet tech? Why won't they hire you for that? Because of bigotry. <laughs> Ugh. Why that? Oh, yeah, you couldn't be his personality. Yeah, they hate people who suck at vet teching. <laughs> uh, and maybe before you chop your balls off, you think about your career. What career? Now animals are scared of you. <laughs> oh, stop that. But he thinks he's going to walk in somewhere like here. Yeah, I like, don't this know. Isn't really you had a, business. a vet tech well, job. How'd I'm you lose sorry. it? I'm sorry. I thought it was... You know. When we get the budget to hire anybody, we look for a person... To, who's so qualified and who has so much background. We're so grateful when we get budget around here. I can't waste it on a guy who has no experience, no no discernible talent, never has sent in a bit. What, what, how would I do that? And why wouldn't you walk dogs? That's a great business. Your back. Your back? See, I, bullshit artist. Siobhan, why did, they, why did you get let go from the vet tech place? What was the reason they gave you? She laid me off, and she said that it was because of 911. Uh, See, I get the impression, for real, 
that you're sort of difficult, even I when you get a job that you're years. sick and your back hurts. Well, listen to his attitude. I worked there for three years. <laughs> And then she hired my daughter. But, see, it's just, I'm too old. Like, well, her tits were real. <laughs> huh? You're too old. That's, all every, oh, that's your well, answer for everything. They won't hire me for those kinds of jobs because they think I'm overqualified and I'm not going to work Dude, now. you can't even walk a dog because your back hurts. You what? know what? Then get your back fixed. Go, I call Dr. Sarno. Read his book, Healing Back Pain, and get rid of your no, back pain. No, that's what got me in trouble in the first place was that stupid fucking shit. I walked <laughs> around for six years with fucking sciatica and fucking almost lost the use of my fucking left leg because of that. I should have gone to the hospital a lot. Oh, bullshit. You just no, don't get it. bullshit. Sciatica. You got nothing wrong with you. I guarantee if I put you in Africa with no food, your fucking back pain will go right away. Put me where? You heard me. In a country where you have to grovel for food. No, I'd be dead. I'd go no. find some lions to eat me. Listen to me. This is a ridiculous conversation. I don't I know, know why you're is. fighting with Siobhan. He's accusing me that I'm supposed to be taking care of him somehow and no, loving him. You're not. I didn't say that. You're jumping to this like... Imagine the insulting call. You got the wrong guy All to fuck me. I was asking if there is anything... That you could any direction you could point me in that I yes help you get it. go out and and pick a career and follow it. I don't care how old you are. Your back didn't look so hurt when you were. <laughs> she she noticed. You look like you were moving just fine. No, because I could don't worry. Career and direction. You insulting call you got the wrong guy to fuck me was asking if there is anything that you could any direction you could point me in that i yes go out and and pick a career and follow it i don't care how old you are your back didn't look so hurt when you were fucking that guy looked like you were on top of him if he hadn't noticed (laughs) gee don't worry i noticed you looked like you were moving just fine no, because then when he starts bending me All right, over, let's do it this way. If you were me, what would you? What What should I be doing? If you were me, what should I be doing for no, you? Nothing now. I'm just trying to find out what the whole deal is, you know, because it's like, What's the I deal? Know, I don't know. When people say they care about someone, and then the person's like fucking can't even pay their bills. and they're. I like, care about a lot of people, but I can't make a career for them. That's not my job. I can get this fucking tooth done because they don't do root canals for fucking Medicaid. Well, you know, get a job. It's like, it just sucks. I'm sick of it. Do you like, so, and then, and then you go and say, oh, yeah, we love you, Siobhan. Sorry we were nice to you. Sorry we, we, we cared. No, you were just lying. <laughs> So you have a direct line to Howard. If you create some sort of resume or line. some... I have to talk to Will or somebody. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, I gotta go. Javon, don't cry. Hello? Hello? I don't know what this guy wants from me. He, I, I don't understand. I well, like the guy. He's looking for a handout is the problem. I but do you, love the you guy. Gotta, you got to create some sort of a resume or, or some but sort of... But I've got 100,000 people who call me a day who say, do something for me. And I said to Siobhan, I don't know what to do for you. I was honest. I said, I don't know what you want me to do. Right. I said, do you want me to loan you some money? Is that what the, what, what, what are you asking? No, I want a career. I go, I, I understand that. But how would I do that? This is what I get all day. People think I have the answer for well, them. Well, yeah, they think that nothing goes yeah. on here but, you know, hijinks. And everyone's getting paid to just be an asshole. Yeah. Well, we are, but we're good right. assholes. <laughs> we're good assholes. <laughs> we're professional. We're the top assholes. <laughs> Jeez, that was a bummer. Well, it sucks that he's so upset, but... I, 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 I feel bad that he's upset. He can't just give people jobs. I, I don't have a job. Well, I mean... It's getting ridiculous now. Everybody who comes up says, oh, and by the way, can you give me a job? Except Beetlejuice. Carlos called me every night, too. I'm dying to see what his new thing is. I called him back, finally got his answering machine. He calls me every day. I'm curious what that's about. And like I even say to Siobhan, if you want, uh, you want to make some appearances or something. I mean, some you want, we'll help you with that. I mean, uh, what know. about that? Yeah, yeah. plugs or yeah. whatever. Plugs yeah. or, but I mean, I really don't know what else I could do. Hey, I'm, Siobhan, I'm not try being, that. That's a know. good idea. Try that once. Have us, you know, plug. What's a, 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 she gonna do it in appearance? I don't know. Take pictures with people. Who knows? What is King, Gary? Do? King of all blacks <laughs> is a, a guy who goes out and he's a street sweeper, and the guy makes a great living and he's happy. I, I mean, he's in a good union, you know. Too. Yeah. yeah. He's almost retired. 
he's having a good life. He's he, you know he he's not a, a show business guy, but he's got a, he's got some money and he's he's, he's cleaning the street. He's on busting his balls and he's uh, and he has a nice life. He's got a wife. He's got kids. Since we have known Siobhan, she's mm-hmm. been squatting. She's yeah. you know she's never really been doing anything. And then you turn fifty and you're like, oh my god, what have I done? I I, I need I, I can't do this the rest of my life. I'm exhausted. I understand Siobhan's problem. Uh, I'm not being uh, I'm not being unsympathetic. I just really don't have an answer. And if you say you love her, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've said to him, you know, hey, we love what you do. We, you know, we love when you're on the show. And I guess he considers that that I'm in love with him. Oh, but you don't mean but, it. But I do mean it. <laughs> I, I just don't know what. I you're don't have, lying. Does that mean he's now my kid and I should have to support him? Yes, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The gift that this show gives to people is it makes you famous on some level, and there's ways to make money off of that. But you know, you gotta you gotta work at it. You gotta set mm. something up. And and I've said to Siobhan, if the show gives you a problem, you know, don't don't be on it. Or if you if you don't like the way I am, don't be on the show. You know, I, I don't or know. don't do whatever we ask. Right. You know, if you don't want to do it. And I do love Siobhan. I think Siobhan's a really good person. I do. I mean, I've had many conversations. Siobhan's a really nice person. And you know, to one place, yeah. Siobhan, if you're still listening, well, they'll take anybody, no matter what you look like, is a, is a comedy club. If you could think of an act and go on stage and get laughs, make people forget they're paying 10 bucks for a Rolling Rock, you will get gigs. I don't try, think, to, try to write a stand-up act. I don't think she can do that. All right, well, well, he says he writes, so let him write something. Write, a, write an act, go up, you can yeah. get five minutes anywhere, open mic, and try to get laughs. You'll get paid. Yeah, but he'll have a problem with that. You know, right. It takes it takes effort. He's been doing stand up, you know. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Really? Howard yeah, like, TV was supposed to go and tape some of it. I think it's coming up, but I haven't seen or heard any of it. Oh, all well, right. There well, there you go. Then what does he need me for? And I'll promote his gigs. Maybe it's not going so well. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think there are any gigs to promote. That's a very tough career choice. You know? So, you know. But I, I mean, honestly, we don't have jobs here for like just anybody. We, you know, it's, we have a very limited budget, quite frankly. How did Siobhan not wind up on Kill or Be Killed if she's doing things? Uh, uh, yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> yeah, how about that? There you go. All right. Anyway, I got to take a break, and I'm sorry Siobhan's in so much pain. I don't like to hear Siobhan crying, but uh, and I understand. But I think you got to, you know, you got to go create a life. And it's it's not easy. It's very frightening to be to wake up at fifty years old and say I got to go find something for myself. And I, I I relate to that. And I don't think it's easy. Uh, I remember getting out of uh, school and sort of being helpless, like oh my god, I don't know what to do for myself. But I had to figure out something, and it was awful. It caused me so much pain and so much uh, nervous energy, and, and and I was neurotic about it. And I mean, I was panicked. I I, I certainly understand Shabon's, but I panicked at twenty. Right. And now he's panicking at 50. 20 is a good time to panic. Th- that's when you panic. Yeah. And I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I feel bad about this, but uh, I think there are things Siobhan could be doing. Yeah, I just hate calls like that. And when Siobhan was busy drawing those little comic books and stuff, I said, you know, you, you should go out and maybe work for a, 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 an art house. or Yeah, a, that should be your part-time yeah. thing that you do when, for in fun. your spare time. Yeah, and it's see not if a that career. works out and have a real job. Right. And that's what I used to say. You know, and spending years building a squatting house is not good because, you know, you're putting your money into something you don't own. Yeah. You're putting your time and energy. Put your time into learning a trade or a craft or something that would make you happy or work in a store. You know, it's a, it's t- I think it's the number one thing of panic. Where, you know, what do I do with my life and what do I and how do I make a living? You know, it's it's just it's a, it's the number one pressure. Yeah, it's not easy in a free society. No. It's tough, and it causes a lot of people pain. What is it? Good morning, sir. Uh, we're going to put Siobhan on some of our comedy gigs. Me and Richard are going to do that, and Bob Lee. All right, Dave, why don't you go give him a call and tell okay. him to make him happy. Yeah, right, there you go. Great. A little, little, little uh, help there. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back. Hi, I'm Siobhan, and welcome to the Furry Love Kitten Cat Farm. <laughs> First, I'd like to show you the main living area, which is where the cats hang out with all their cat trees, their pillows to lay on, their cardboard boxes that they love to play in. It's really the cat's apartment, not mine. 
these cats were all going to be killed because they were unadoptable. It's basically like a barn, which is like good for the cats, and I kind of like it this way too. I've kind of stripped it down so it's easy to clean up after everybody, and so cats can't get into little cubby holes and hide, like when I have to chase them down to give them medicine or things like that. In this space, I have 30 cats of all different colors and varieties. There's honeysuckle, there's uh, otter, there's uh, mezuzah, there's Mr. Yams, there's uh, Mary Magdalene, and Noodle, and uh, the names go on and on. This is Jupiter. He's an acrobat. He was born here. Uh, I midwifed for his mother, who it was her first pregnancy. This is Buick. He's a big boy. He was also born here. I found his mom under a van outside our front door. And uh, she was pregnant, and so I kept her and helped her have her babies. <laughs> I have 13 litter boxes in here and I don't use the clay litter. I, what I do is I use newspaper and cardboard because I have I change it every trash night. I have to change all the litter boxes and scrub them down with Clorox and detergent and make sure everything stays clean here. If you look around, you can see all the places these cats get to climb. I have lots of old step ladders, which they love. I have all this cat furniture, which all of this cat furniture was either given to me or I found it on the street in really good condition because like people have a cat and then they'll get rid of the cat and then they'll just put the, the perfectly good, expensive, like $300 cat tree out on the street and I'll lug it back here. and. They love them, but what they love even more than the furniture is the cardboard boxes. I mean, give a cat a cardboard box and he's happy for the entire day. Over here is a freezer that my brother gave me. Uh, right now, it's full of uh, containers of frozen water which I would use in the summer when the, there was a heat wave I would put these out all over the floor and it would be an air conditioning system and the cats could lay by them and stay cool and they really love them but now that it's getting cooler I don't need it and then I also use it uh, for like you know frozen dinners and stuff like that and then like should say a cat die uh, it, I, I usually freeze the body in here until I can dispose of it properly. Over here is the bathroom, which is still under construction as you can see. The toilet I've had for a while, but there was like a full five years where I didn't even have a toilet in this space and we didn't have hot water or running water at all and we would have to go down to the fire hydrant with five gallon uh, buckets and containers and bring water up here and we used a thing that all squatters used to use it was called the dump flush method you would have like a toilet but no like water in the tank and you would just pour water in to the bowl and it would self flush from filling up and I just acquired this bathtub. We just had heat put in last year. And uh, so now we have hot water and everything. And I acquired this bathtub. I found it on the street and it's a great bathtub. It's one of the old footy ones, cast iron, porcelain. Really nice, comfortable. This is the main workspace, this room. Uh, it's sometimes I call it the kitchen. I have a small refrigerator here, which is really mostly full of medicine for the cats. 
Over here is the main sink where I do all the cleaning of the litter boxes. It's a big slop sink I got for 200 bucks on the Bowery, which is really nice. That cat's name is Mikey Bagels. He's a cat I got from Verushka, who is the famous 60s Vogue model who also was rescuing cats when she lived in Dumbo. These are the litter boxes. And since the cats really like to congregate in this room a lot, I have a lot of them all over here. They have the comfort of just walking over to their litter box. So here's my little refrigerator and inside it I have mostly cat medicine and some of my medicine in there too. So it really functions as a medicine cabinet. When you have as many cats as I do, you have it's a good idea to have medicines ready in case they get upper respiratories or, or infections of any kind. And over here is the entertainment center. Mostly because on this work table is where I'm cleaning and tearing newspaper for the litter boxes. And so if I want to watch TV, I can watch TV, but mostly I have my Sirius radio is in there. And uh, I just turn on the Stern Show and listen to that, and that helps get me through the very onerous task of cleaning litter boxes. And uh, I have it in this cage to keep the cats from tear, you know, they're very, they're like four-year-old children. They'll get into anything and mess it up if they, if they can, playing with it. So I have it in this cage to protect it from them. And uh, anything else that I don't want them, you know, really grabbing hold of, I put in here. <laughs> Over here, we're coming into the main bedroom. Come all the way in. I have it screened off because there's, I only want certain cats in here. And those are the cats that are too timid to go out with the general population and that I want to have sleeping with me because one of the best things about having cats is that you can lay down on bed and all of them pile on top of me and start purring and it's the most relaxing thing in the world. My slogan is live fur is warmer because like in the winter before we had the heat that's how I stayed warm was all the cats would pile on top of me and we'd all be warm together under the blanket and I, I always slept the best that way you know it's just so incredible. <laughs> This is the bed where all the action happens. This is Kaching. He's a little FIV cat. Well, not little, but he's the sweetest cat in the world. He'll sleep on my chest and put his arms around my neck and just hug me the whole night long. Up until today, it was only the cats that had any action on this bed. It was like very you know, snuggling with the cats. And now uh, I think uh, this is the first time a human other than myself has slept on this bed. Maybe you were listening to the Stern Show recently and uh, the, my first encounter with a human on this bed, because normally it was just me and the cats. And recently it was me and a human. And I hope the cats don't get too jealous of that. This is the timeout cage for one of my favorite cats in the world. His name is Gumbo, but he's a biter. And he came here because he terrorizes humans. He will bite the crap out of them so bad they have to go to the hospital. And in fact, he sent me to the hospital two times with uh, infected cat bites. But he's really a sweet guy. And I don't think a cat should be penalized with death for being a cat. I mean, a cat is supposed to bite when he's upset. There's Barbie again. That's Wasabi. She's another old timer, 17. And there's a picture of Scarlet up there. She's the cat, the mother cat who saved her kittens from the fire in Brooklyn. And to me, she's like 
sums up the whole thing of what love is about, you know, that she'd walk through fire to save her children. That's like an amazing, amazing person, 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 person. <laughs> I call my house the Furry Love Kit and Cat Farm because it's their house. It's a temple to the cats. And this is their sanctuary and their home. And this is the one place they're safe where nobody's going to kill them. And that's what I kind of dedicated my life to, is protecting these guys. All right, guys, it was real. It was fun. Maybe not real fun, but it's time for you to go and me to get back to work. So I'll see ya. Bye. <laughs>
You're confused. Yeah, right. It's like, time what you... I did wasn't, you know. I Siobhan, mean, like you not. called uh, up and asked people. Are you are you trying to weasel I mean, money out they, of me? Did they or did they not? Like, wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm I'm, I'm confused here. Now I'm getting a little pissed. Are you trying to weasel well, some I'm money out of me a again? Because did they? Did you and your radio station and your TV station? Did you or did you not benefit? from that segment I did. I don't know if I did or didn't. You called me up and said you wanted to be fucked That's by a man. Did basically you... like this. Answer the question. Yeah, did you call me me and ask, excuse me, Siobhan, you're insane. No, I'm did not you insane. Call... No, you're insane. Did you call me and ask me to find someone to fuck you? Did you or didn't you? Yeah, but it was more in the context of not just finding someone to fuck me. I wanted a boyfriend. And All then right, so fun. Broke it down to like, you know, just totally. Yeah, like, that's oh, right. Yeah, let's have let's have Siobhan have sex with a total sure, stranger. Sure, fine. Give a shit about her. Siobhan, that's up to you. Oh, I can only provide people to fuck you, yeah, which you is a miracle. Do it. You kept going. <laughs> do it. Do it. You want? Yeah, it. sure. I sure I did. You said you wanted right. it. Okay. I had no. I encouraged the guy to do it, not you. Wait. So therefore, there is a benefit. You wanted to do it, so I right. did. You know. <laughs> oh, you did it for me. Yeah. Oh. Then what are you calling us for now? Why would you call me and tell me that? What? I didn't know you did it for you me. Did you did it, it for, for you. Howard. So you did it for Howard. It's done. Yeah. Why are you calling? What do you want now, Siobhan? Got to wiggle out of every. What, like, what are we wiggling out of? I don't have a deal with you. You don't work for me. Oh God! Don't call into I Siobhan. Believe that you're so cheap that you'll. So, pay oh, I am Sally cheap. We didn't pay them again. Again, I will say that. we didn't pay you Sal didn't and pay Christine. I don't pay any me. guest. Siobhan. So, so why? Why won't you pay me? Is wow. that because you hate me? No, uh, because I don't want to give you any money. Why? Because I don't owe you any money. Why don't I give everybody money? Then the, 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 the world's problems will be solved. We won't have any more people on the show. Siobhan, well, why don't you... It nice if you would pay people to do these segments. I mean, you pay... Siobhan. Don't, don't do them. Don't, 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 don't Siobhan, call up and ask... if you them. want to do Wait, something Howard, for money, you have to this. establish that let up front. See if I understand this. You're trying to pawn it all off on a sponsor called Christina. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Right, they requested so it. So if, if I would, would have just been sitting around and a sponsor called me up. You right. get the sponsor's money. Let me, give you, let me give you a hint. You're unsponsorable. There's like nobody this, that wants to sponsor this, sex. That's not true. Maybe somebody not does. In some I'll tell you what, Siobhan. Absolutely. Well, would you, you did. Like, could you please? <laughs> you benefited. You got no, fucked finally no, when no, no guy wants to fuck you. Could you please ask the people on my behalf who benefited? What people? Who, be who benefited? Who benefited? Like, Pay up now. Let me say something to you, Siobhan, <laughs> because you're missing something. How here. much do we owe you? Did I not? Did I not do something? Wait, you begged us to fight. Wait, Siobhan, you called me for weeks and you said I can't get laid since I had the operation for whatever reason. Nobody wants to fuck me. Can you please find somebody to fuck me? So we get on the air, and listen, the, it's not a long list of people who want to fuck you. So we find a guy who will do it, and now you're asking that we somehow used you and you wanted to get paid for it? Yeah, but that's... that's Faulty I mean, logic. I'm coming from that whole end of it. I'm coming at it from this end. Sal and Christine... No, but you just no, created no, no, no. a new end. Do, wait, Sal and Christine get ten grand just to do marriage counseling. I fucking right. had sex with a guy. You Don't asked us to make you... You asked to find a guy to have sex Siobhan, with you. Siobhan, Siobhan, what aren't you understanding? Christine didn't want to come on the air. The only way to she, get her on the air. Right. She was coaxed to come on the air by a sponsor. They wanted to sponsor a counseling session. Nobody nobody was looking for you to come on the air. You, you, you wanted You it. called us with this idea that you wanted to have a boyfriend, have sex with him. You've never had your vagina used. I found a guy. Yeah, but I wanted something nice to have, and that's something. I fun. can't help that. That's but up to you. you. still wanted to do it, even though I didn't of course want I'll to do it. I did it anyway. Because Who knows you don't? You didn't want to do it, did you? Have a show Why did you do it if you didn't want to do it, Siobhan, Did you say everybody set up to do the segment and then? Well, then don't do it. it. Not to happen. So don't do it. That's the answer. But you can't so call in after the fact and say now you're owed some money because money was never involved well, it in would this. Be nice. Everything if would I, be nice. If, you know, I, I would like a hundred million to, today in, in yeah, small dollar bills. Yeah, it would be bills. nice. Because, if, and here's the other thing: that segment wouldn't have happened had not my brother paid for it. It would be nice if Google what? gave me some stock. Had yep. not my brother like paid for the surgery to make that segment possible, it never would have happened. Oh, that's insane logic. You oh got the surgery God. done because you want to be a fucking girl. 
Now you're saying that that. Uh, yeah, but you got still, the surgery you for us. Your show benefited. You're out of your mind, Siobhan. You're really desperate, aren't you? I you're am. saying I'm now you got this Siobhan. operation for our benefit? Wait, I can't brother, hear. My I, brother needs that fucking money, and I have yeah, no but way. Siobhan, of, you knew that when you got the, when you borrowed the money from your brother, you never were going to pay him back. You knew that. Now you're guilty, and now you want to sit and, and badger people. You're in. You're yeah, in the hole. Siobhan, how are you paying people now to fucking do? Something? I'm not paying anybody, Siobhan. Sponsors occasionally approach us. For example, well, a sponsor. Well, you at least ask fucking Panasonic to pay me for the whole <laughs> mic mic thing I do. I will pay. I will ask Panasonic. Wait, 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 wait. What does he want to ask? Panasonic? He wants. He, he remember when mm. high pitch Mike won the Panasonic TV by letting money. Siobhan squat on his face. Yeah. He wants me to go back to Panasonic now and ask for some money. Give my brother his money so he doesn't lose his No, he you got to go out and work. your brother's money. Siobhan. I am fucking working. Do what you want. Crazy people. What are you doing? Oh, God. Why don't you come over here and switch places with me? And I, I will. I, you know what, Siobhan? Here's I the thing. You. I would I never put... You to not in a million years, years but go ahead. Hold on. Siobhan, I would never put myself life. in that position. I would never I borrow do. money like that I and cut my penis off and all that other shit. And then talk to me. You fuck up your life and then you're yelling at us? You, I'm you, not yelling at you. You're yelling at me. You created the life that you what have. What I wanted to do was just ask. Siobhan, why how did you get to the life that you have? Siobhan, how did you get to where you are? I don't. That's all I I knew this wouldn't be a pleasant call. And you're call. the ones who are yelling at me. Siobhan's all in big sudden, trouble. It's like you're so freaked out about... Here, so, okay, you want to know what Siobhan needs the money for? I got a list. Go ahead. Siobhan has to sheetrock her apartment. Siobhan has to sheetrock her apartment. She has crippling arthritis. Right. How's she going to sheetrock And they're going to double her rent soon. Now, I don't understand doubling the rent. I thought that she's Hello. been squatting in this place for years for the purpose of owning yeah, but it. but they finally turned it into some kind of a co-op or something. Now she has to pay something so for she, it. So what was all that work that she just did? I'll explain it to you. All right, I'll put it really simply. I broke my back working on this building. Right. Okay? For free. Right. Why aren't you calling them then? Huh? <laughs> yeah, why are you calling us? Ask them for a reduction. I mean, Siobhan, it just sounds to me like, you know... You were working. You broke your back on a building. You essentially right. stole. Right. Okay. Now I've got like this permanent degenerative arthritis thing that keeps me from doing any of the kind of work I used to do. So yeah. I can't. I can't get construction jobs. I can't do moving. I used to love to do moving jobs. I loved it. I worked. Dude. What do you I want from me? Sixteen-hour days because I I have to work. Why? 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 Now I can't work anymore, and I'm fucked. Whose fault is that? Is how did it get to be our fault? Can I just say something to Siobhan? Siobhan, over the years that you've been on the show, one of the things that you've had the opportunity to do is anytime you come on the show, you've had the opportunity to use this as a place to plug whatever you want to do, or don't even do the show. But you've never, you've never, you've never in that period of time done used used your brain to do to to either come up with an idea how to generate money or go do regular go to a regular job and make a regular paycheck. I see dudes like you working all the time downtown in stores. Right, listen, I, I have see so dudes many medical problems that mm. if I don't get total ins coverage insurance, I you know, I'm going to die. So anyway, who's going to give me that in a job, in a menial job? That's I don't know what I've to tell this guy. Uh, you know, I knew that this was going to be this kind because of, we don't hear from her anymore. What I happened to stand up? Why aren't you doing stand up? But Siobhan shouldn't contact. I, I wanted us. to do stand up. I asked you guys, take me, take me on some of your games. I asked you guys. And it's not up to us like, again. I, I never hear from you. It's like, you know, okay, <laughs> but wait, wait, but Siobhan, like, we're not in the Siobhan business. Hey, huh? We're not in the Siobhan business. You are. We didn't borrow money from your brother. Oh, you on. did. I always show up for you guys. Here's I a perfect example, Howard. Don't Whatever show up for us. We haven't Whatever contacted you, you are, in ages. I you guys. Since we've, in the last five years, Siobhan has contacted us more begging us to come on than we've ever called her. And I'll tell you what, Siobhan, if you'd have gone out and started a stand-up career, you I called me. Hold on, stop talking. And you called I, I me and you said, Gary, I want to come I, on the show. This is silly. I can't. I can't. And I want to promote my stand-up. I would gladly have him on. And then you took the opportunity to... To just disparage my work ethic, to literally slander me. I'm asking oh, now we've you guys for a him. job, yeah. any job. It's serious, and you you take the opportunity. Siobhan, to my Siobhan, work. we don't have a job for you. It's serious. I don't know why you're berating us. We don't have a job for you. Not even in sale. No sale. No, I don't control that. There is a line a mile long of seasoned salespeople. The industry is right, getting so hard that they can't get a job I here. I understand. You have no Siobhan. experience in sales. At, at least, see, you, you Let me ask you a question. I, I, I'm going to do, do you a big favor. What? Right now. 
I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Can you walk? Barely. I have to take a lot of... Uh, can you walk? Yes or walk. no? Can yes. you walk? Okay. You can easily make a living in New York City walking dogs. There's my idea. I can't. Not with my back. Well, then you can't work. Can I, you, yeah, you, yeah, she's I unemployable. Can't sit. I can't okay. sit and I just barely... Why can't you do phone work? We, if you want to be a salesperson, why can't you do phone sales? You, you seem, get on to, phone or you do seem phone to be sales. yapping a lot on the phone to us. Why don't you get a sales job on the phone? Good idea. When was the last time you pulled out the New York Times for real or the Village Voice and went through the classifieds and actually circled jobs, Siobhan? I do that every fucking Monday. And, and then no what phone happens job. by Friday? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> because I can't find anything. There's ads every week in the paper, you know, do phone it's sales a, from your home. Me, in order for me to go off disability, I need to get the medical insurance. Well, listen, this is a very complicated situation, Siobhan, and I'm, I'm being I honest with you. Answers. We really don't have answers for you. I can't spend an entire radio show trying I to come understand. up come I, up with an answer. I, as I far as you go, I'm just going to give you... You had the money to pay Sal and Christina. No, I don't have the money to pay Sal and Christina. Sponsor put up that money, and if a sponsor contacts me and says they want Siobhan for a bit, I will call you immediately. How is that? Yeah, that would be nice if Good. I got All paid right. next time. Good. All right. Next time, if somebody wants you... And by the way, when you call a show and say you want something done, yeah, uh, I would suggest you clear that in your mind ahead of time that you are calling and asking a favor of the show. Uh, We're not asking you to do anything. This wasn't our idea. Okay, it's just it's also your that, idea. It's just also, our, a lot of the fans think you paid me for all that stuff. Well, now they know when we did. I have to tell them that you didn't. You absolutely were not told. Feel free, not feel you free when to they tell start them. Calling you names, I just start feeling crazy. You're sounding a little like Riley Martin. He just said basically the same thing. Right, uh, yeah, Siobhan, I like you very much. I think you're a good person. I really do hope that things happen for you. I hope one of our sponsors decides to have a Siobhan segment. No, and I don't even want the sponsor to pay me. I want them to just pay my fucking brother. Just well, right. they money, can't do that, Dale. If you work for somebody, In they'll fact, pay you. any fans who really want to help out, and this is serious, send money to the station to send it to Gary. No, don't, no, 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 no. Don't send it to me, Siobhan. We don't want any money. We don't. We can't. We can't accept money if someone wants to pay you. No, right. That's between right. you and somebody else. Then send it to uh, my P.O. box. Can there I say you that? Sure. You can say anything you want. All right. It's P.O. box 20801, New York, New York, 10009. All right, Siobhan. I know and you're up against... Make it out to Pep Girls, P-E-P-G-I-R-L-Z, or else cash. Yeah. So I can or, send it to my brother. Or give it the, the check to a cop and just tell him to follow the stench of cats to where you are. No, now see, that's another thing you guys get me in trouble. My cats are well taken care of. Mm. Well, Siobhan, i got to tell you something. I like you. I think you're in extreme trouble. It, no, it's my I, brother who's in evil. Well, I think you are and your brother. It sounds to me like you both are. And he shouldn't be punished for doing a good thing. That's right. You punished him. You realize that, though. I hope someday I you wake up to, to that. I tried to explain to him that my life was not that way that I could... See, he's got a government Siobhan, job. Siobhan, you're the one who took the money from your brother. Not yeah, us, not anyone else in this world. Right it. It's just a really ugly thing. All right, situation. but you've done I'll it. Tell you the truth, Howard, my fucking medical insurance should have covered this fucking surgery. But in this fucking bigoted fucking country, they don't do that. Okay, I was born with a fucking birth defect, and it should have been covered. But the, the greedy fucking insurance companies and this bigoted government don't do it. And fucking little kids like me growing up everywhere have to go through this shit. And now, like, my fucking brother is going to lose his house because of this shit. And it really fucking upsets me. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done the operation then. I had to, or else I was going to just fucking die. So your brother's in big trouble because you yeah, had to do now it. I still want to die because he's going to lose his house. So it's like, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know. I, All right. I, you're, you're up I against the wall. Rope. There's All no right. way I'm going to ever make that kind of money. There's no fucking way. It's just impossible. Yeah, well, I, I suggest you, you may, know when I'm you don't when you don't have ten hope. Ten years of... left to live. Ten years, I'm figuring twenty at the outmost. It's no way. How am I going to do Couldn't that? Couldn't you, you know, have been paying this back a, a little bit at a time? Huh? Couldn't you have been paying this back a little bit at a time? All this no, time? because it's it's he did he did a dumb thing. I tried to get him to do like a ten year like loan. 
but he did. He wanted to do it in five, and it's like I told him no. I said, I, but he did it in five anyway. All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear about all of this. If and you I... would have done like a super long loan, I could have afforded it. But right. it's like not now. It's like that my rent here is going to double. Well, Everything it sounds like there's up. a lot of problems. How are you live in the city? You saw everything go up. Like it's it's like up. I, I I moved into the city when I could afford to live in the city. Right, yeah. You That's know, how who I conduct my life. From? Crackhead Bob is moving out of the city because right. he can't afford it. Go to Texas. Texas. No. He's moving to Texas. Right. That's what you do when you don't have money. Yeah, but I can't even afford to move. Okay, right, that's well. how poor I am. All right, well, okay? I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't really know what to tell you. I know that in my life, I've I've been without money, and I always live within my means. All I, I never borrowed. Do, I never I borrowed a dime from anybody. I've always... I've always managed to keep my head above the water, okay? But I've never, ever taken out loans, and that's how I managed to stay All right. Well, normal. Siobhan, now, I'm sorry, now, and, I, and I make like, you this promise. If there's any, I have my next guest here. If I, if I hear from any sponsors that want to sponsor a segment with you, I will get in touch with you immediately. How well, is that? Thank you. All I right, really thank you, Siobhan. How did she manage to stay normal? I, I will. And I love you guys. <laughs> thank you, Siobhan. You know, I, hope... I, I really don't want any hard feelings about No hard this. feelings at all. It's like desperate. You're at, you're at your wit's end, I understand. Thank you, Siobhan. All right, thank you. All right. That is Siobhan, who is at his wit's end. You know you know how we always talk about like how... After this... all that surgery, you're still calling well, our heat. You know yes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were trying to decide whether somebody should be in the whack pack or not, like what the criteria is. One of them's got to be can't or won't work. That's a total criteria <laughs> well, for the whack pack. Well, to tell you the truth, Siobhan says he will work. But he you will find work, a job she'll do. But you've got to get, come up with the right job or, or <laughs> a job that she can do because of her back in the show. All right, listen, we got it all. We heard it. I'm, I feel bad for Siobhan, and we're going to move on. Uh, let's move on. I got to. Do I have to take a break yes, here, Fred? Do. I'm going to yeah. take a break, and then Jay we Thomas have to is going to pay gonna, our bills. All right, we're going to pay our bills there uh, right after the agenda. Siobhan, we haven't seen him in years. This was a dude who used to do our show. He's one of the first guys to come on here. He, he uh, was getting a sex change operation. And remember then he decided to become a man again? Yeah, and I thought he'd been living as a man happily for several years, but apparently not. Now he's back to being abroad again. Do you think this has anything to That's do a with man thing, seeing baby. you again? I don't know, but remember that his little daughter, the little one, the, like the seven-year-old? She's like 20 now, and she's with him. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't even know he could still see those kids. Yeah, yeah. Kids are back with him. I think that's a recent development. Oh, boy. But he's got big-ass boobs now, and he's back to one. Let me see. Right, man, oh no! <laughs> Let me take that in. At least your daughter's so beautiful. Yeah, well, she. You want to be her? It's not going to happen. Sit down. Oh, my goodness. Sit down. You're a big mess. He's wearing a bra top. You look horrible. Sit down. What do you mean? What do you tell me? What do you think someone's going to tell you to look Did good? Did somebody tell you you look good? <laughs> Who was that? First of all, Siobhan, you're wearing a belly shirt. And you're built like a guy. You got a belly like a guy. Even if you want to be a woman. All right, I'm going to go along with it. You want to be a woman? Cover up. I am a woman. Cover up. Woman. What's the wig? Where's your hair? Uh, Did well, you go bald? Yeah. You went bald? Oh, yeah. I told you that before. <laughs> so now you wear a wig? I have to. It's a te what is that, a $5 wig? Of course. I got a, uh, what, what do, am I rich or something? No. Yeah. Is it Halloween? What are you doing? <laughs> No, he looks like Sigourney Almost. Weaver. Thank you. <laughs> you, do. you look like Sigourney Weaver. A lot of people say that, actually. Really? Oh, poor Sigourney. Now, I thought you weren't even allowed to talk to your kids. This is your daughter. I don't know your name. What is your first name? Helene. Helene. Hi, Helene. Very Hi. beautiful. She sat on your lap, like, when she was two. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, maybe that's the reason you turned out good. <laughs> is it horrible to have a father who has breasts and uh, walks around like a woman all day, flaunting his boobs? No, not at all. Oh, come on. No. For years you weren't allowed to talk to your dad, right? No. Oh, is that not long... true? Oh, no, yeah, it's true. No. How long have you been able to talk to him? Um, well, when did I come to visit you? What are you I... laughing about? You're so goofy. It was in it was in uh, June, I think. Or yeah. July. Since June. No, it was after the breasts. So, like, after I got the the breasts, everything started happening. It's like my my ex wife and I are in very good terms now. Huh. I see both my daughters. Helene has come to live with me. Wow. You're kidding me. You don't even have a job. You don't. You, don't you squat somewhere? You're a squatter. Yeah. Yeah. And your daughter is living with you. Yeah. As a squatter. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Actually, our building went legal, so it's like, you know, 
everything's crazy. You're living with your dad now? Is it fun or something? Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. What oh, goes on in that house? <laughs> How do you rebel? <laughs> yeah. He can't correct you or tell you to do stuff, right? Uh, actually, he does all the time. Really? <laughs> he, like, acts like a dad. Yeah. Well, yeah. is it weird when your friends... We have a lot of fun together, though. I mean... Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I don't it's know what to great. say. It's great. You don't have to go to parent-teacher conferences or anything, though, do you? No, she's out of school. She's oh, thank 20 goodness. years old. Oh, you look yeah. young. You're 20? Wow. Siobhan, yeah. what, what did you You got breast implants? Yeah. How did you afford those? My brother paid for them. All right. Why did you start becoming a woman again? You were starting to look normal as a guy. No, I started having a lot of nervous breakdowns. I was, like, lying through my teeth for the past ten years every time I came on here. It oh. was like... I, what do you I mean? I tried. Honest to God, I really tried to be a guy, but I'm not a guy, and I can't do it. I just can't. I was miserable. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I mean, you can't be a good... Did you get your wiener cut off yet? No, not yet. I can't afford that. Well, thank God. Thank your God brother's that... not going to get that for you? Well... No one wants to do that. <laughs> no one's yeah, that good of a did. brother. <laughs> You're going to get your wiener cut off? Didn't you almost make a mistake the last time? N no, it was a mistake to try to be a guy again. That Does your wiener mistake. still work? Uh, or is it, it all full of hormones? No, it works. I it, I just need... Are you doing guys? But wait a minute. <laughs> Are you taking hormones? Yes, of course. Of course. of course, can't you tell? What kind your of a voice is so question? feminine. Yeah, well, well, how would I be able to tell? What is with your voice? Well, how come you're not even trying to act like a girl? Like, well, why are you talking like a dude? Because your daughter's here? No, it's just that I, you know, I don't know. That's this, the voice you're going to go with? the voice I got. I don't know what. You're going to have the freaky, you're going to have the freaky boobs, the freaky <laughs> wig, and that man voice? Can you send me the voice <laughs> lesson? No, I mean, you can't go like this, hello. Yeah, yeah. His daughter Dude. is cracking up. Well, she's in a nightmare. She knows how ridiculous. She's in a friggin' nightmare. It's Halloween every night of her life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Daddy's dressing up like a woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Totally and why good. a belly shirt? Dude, your belly is like, like you. First of all, you don't getting, dress like this all the time. You got no, rolls. No. no. You got rolls of flab. I'm 46 years old. What do you want? You're an old woman now. <laughs> You're an old woman. <laughs> I'm like 16 year old stuck in a 46 year old body. It's like. You still drawing those horrible comics that you draw? Nah, I quit oh. doing that. I didn't get money for that, so why should I do that? I get more money cleaning cat crap than I do. What do you do? What do you clean crack, cat crap? Where do you yeah. do that? Oh, different places. It's like, you know, I cat sit. I oh. take care. I still have 60 cats. People let you in your house and you're dressed like that? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Well, a lot of people are more accepting than you are. <laughs> no, man, you're scary. We're you look like something out of like a psycho movie. Yeah, you look like one of those movies where the guy goes crazy and kills everybody. <laughs> Can you believe this is your dad? This is what you got stuck with? <laughs> I don't mind. You know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Yeah. This wow. is the new generation. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, she's a very good kid. <laughs> she's trying to well, what does she do? He's dead. Yeah. Man, she's and does she got. call you dad or does she call you mom? Siobhan. What does she call you? She calls me Siobhan. Yeah, okay. he didn't want me to say mom. No, I, I haven't <laughs> seen her since she was two years old. This is the first time I've seen her so what in happened? 18 years. Boy, so. those breasts are grotesque. They're really bad. They're bad boobs. This is my dad, well, Siobhan. This this is just the first set, you know. I mean, it's, oh, it's you all get that, several. No, this is all they could fit under me. At oh, the you gonna time. go bigger? Yeah. <laughs> are you nuts? They're already too big. Yeah. <laughs> Now get him bigger. <laughs> yeah, I want to get him freakishly big. Give him something to hang on to. <sighs> Look how cute your daughter is. I know. Yeah. Like that's a real girl. And you I don't know. question anything about your sexuality. You oh, know where hell you are. No. Okay. Her right. daughter's beautiful. A bunch of years you weren't allowed to talk to your dad, right? No, not really. He would send us letters and things huh. like that. Oh, those kooky letters with the strange handwriting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the weird, weird drawings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the ones you used to send to my <laughs> wife. <laughs> I'm writing you in cat blood. And your mom would let you see those. <laughs> Yeah, most of the time, and sometimes they're a little too, uh, <laughs> edgy. What, what would he say if he was What would he say? What was edgy about him? I don't know. I don't really remember. <laughs> you blocked it out? Yeah, I think well, I and, and is your mom pissed that you're living with your dad now? Oh, no, no. She wanted to get me out as soon right. as possible. <laughs> right. Oh, what were you up to? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask her. <laughs> uh, she let her friend wreck her car. And... Oh, man, you had a little trouble, huh? Well, I don't blame you. you well, you Siobhan will straighten her out. Yeah, you don't worry. A couple of years with your dad, you'll be normal. <laughs> <laughs> so did you say to her, look, don't call me dad. It'd be very freakish because I'm now a woman. Uh, no, she's 
she can call me whatever she wants to because she's my kid. Right. You know, other people, I try to try to, but it's like you can't it's, you can't control people. It's mm -hmm. gonna say what they're gonna say. Let me see. Take off your wig. Let me see what's doing under there. No, <laughs> no way. Uh, uh, no way. Do you sleep in that thing? No, I take it off at home. I usually wear like a, a scarf over my. Head. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's like a gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> like an old gypsy woman. Exactly. What do you read fortunes? <laughs> Holy mackerel, Savon. No, I take care of cats. Who's got a bigger bra size, you or your daughter? That'd be me. You, you do, yeah. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, stand up, Siobhan. Let me see yeah, you Yeah, let's see what you're doing again. Let me take a good look at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fred's almost going to pass out. <laughs> now, what is that skirt? What is that, a mini skirt? Let me see what you got. Uh, what do you got there, a mini skirt? Yeah, and yeah. like some kind of fishnet. And what do you do? You, you shave your belly and stuff? Because you have no hair on it. Like Get in your microphone. Sit down. You shave. You spent two I hours spent a day. Two hours shaving my body this morning just to uh, just look pretty. You just, <laughs> it was a waste of time. <laughs> Nothing's gonna please me. Uh, wow! Wow! You're more shocking than ever. <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe, because the last several times we've seen you, you've been in, like, um, construction boots. I was trying real hard to be a guy, I tell you. Why don't I'm you just really be a gay trying. man, which is what you are? I'm not, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm a girl. Well, who do you want to be with? You want to be broad. with women? Look at the size of his hands. Actually, I'm, I'm bisexual, so, I mean, you know. Old in other words, if anyone's willing to be with him, he'll, he'll, he'll do with, it. He'll take old habits he are hard to break, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, your daughter is lovely. You got a boyfriend? Not yet, no. no. Not you, your daughter. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Not all about you. You're never going to get a boyfriend. Yeah. Asking your daughter. <laughs> she might get a boyfriend. You're not. <laughs> Trust me. Gay guys are like, I can't handle this. <laughs> what is that? Is what they you got a boyfriend? Are you into normal sex and everything? Yeah. Yeah, good. I guess you can consider it normal. Yeah. Uh -oh. Like a boy with you and, and yeah. like normal intercourse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 good, good, mm -hmm. good. Like, did you have hang-ups having sex as a kid because your dad was so freakish? No. Were you worried no. about whether you know what you were going to be? No, not at all. If you, if you're, you're not a man or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no guy trying to get out. Yeah, Benji. No. <laughs> Could you date date the daughter as cute as she is if you were like her yes. age? Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't sure. freak you out too much. No, I mean, I would, I, I would, I would cringe every time I saw the right. dad, but <laughs> you could handle it. Yeah, mean? she's so cute. You she put up with adorable. it. You're like, hey, I'm banging someone cute. Who if cares if the dad's the, a freak? If you were at the point of marriage, <laughs> could you marry her? Yeah, sure. And, and you have dad before. over, or I'd be would you banish dad? <laughs> you, Something has to be dad wrong. Dad. You know what I mean? You can't be that normal with a dad like this. But uh, you seem like a nice kid. She came out great. Yeah, good looking. No thanks to you. Yeah, dude, dude. Dude looks like a lady. For real? Not <laughs> Kinda, even. Not even. <laughs> well, Siobhan, I'm glad you came in for this update. There are fans <sighs> of Siobhan out there. They know him for years from the show. You're a man. How much can you not make really. cleaning cat duty? Not a lot, actually. I, I would like to get, like, a real job, but it's... it's well, cleaning cat duty. It's a bad economy hard. right now. And, uh, Are you plugging anything, Siobhan? Oh. Besides guys? <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, you plug in anything? You got anything? I mean, yeah, we, we, no, I don't think so. We have a benefit for the cat farm at on November 8th at the Lucky Cat in Williamsburg. <laughs> so if anybody oh wants to go goodness. to that. So if you clean up some... Where do you clean up these turds? The litter box, you mean? You clean up their litter box? Yeah, and feed them and, you know, water the plants and get And what do you make a week stuff. doing that? Uh, it's it's not even weekly. It's seasonal, and it's like mostly busy, like starting Thanksgiving and going through New Year's. Then there's a big slack period. Then when this guy makes no money. I know. Exactly. He, he yeah. basically does nothing. Hypothetically, if someone needed you to clean up human feces, would you do that? <laughs> no, I don't think. Why don't you become so. a dog walker? Depends how much you p it pays. Uh, well, dogs won't even walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to walk your dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Is it a tough life? Are you sad, man? I'm I'm feeling much better now. Really? Even after this? I've checked. <laughs> we haven't yeah, this, uh, No, no. I I feel like as soon as I started the hormones, like everything improved greatly. Maybe People, that's when what I Casey got the needs. breasts, yeah. I, everything's even better. Maybe Casey needs breasts and some hormones. <laughs> all all I need is the bottom done, and I'll be just fine. Look at you the size. really want to go through the whole thing? Yeah. Look really. at the size of your hands. Absolutely. I can't help that. That's testosterone, you know. It's like, <laughs> Your hands look like Dave the Butcher's. <laughs> it's Dave the Butcher with boobs. Pass me the ball. Pass me, I'm deformed. Siobhan, you just said you need penetration to feel 
To, yeah, to get off. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to get rid of... Uh... Well, doesn't that make you proud of your dad? He needs that, penetration to get off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love it. That, that's dad. Way to go. I mean, that's Siobhan. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, they, they have a procedure now that they, you maintain all the sensation. Oh, They dear. can do it really well. You really now. think that? Not, I know that. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Yeah, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> uh, Siobhan. Are you still in love with Howard? Me, uh, yeah, I felt really bad the last time I was on, and you you asked me that, and I said no, and I I was lying. I I mean, like oh. I know, no, wait, I know. You, you hey, I girlfriend. could be your mother. I yeah, I have you. Yeah. I know you have a girlfriend and everything, but I always have a soft spot in my heart for you. Well, Siobhan, if I ever if I ever turn into a freakishly bizarre man who and, is completely and, sexually yeah, confused fetishes. and I hey, develop a fetish, 60, I'll, give I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call, pal. He wrote me a letter. He was going to bump off my wife and be the mother to my children. That's <laughs> all I ever wanted to be was a housewife. <laughs> you can't find broads like that nowadays. I think that's nice. When's the last time you had sex with anything? Uh, twelve years ago. Oh, you're right. Yeah, oh, it's man. that. You send out a weird vibe, I guess. Well, <laughs> and I'm trying to be someone I'm not. Yeah. Well, now maybe you'll get some. Now you'll get laid. You look so pretty. Well, how long has it been since you got the boobs and took on the uh, hormones and all that? I started the hormones in March, and I got the breasts in June. So a guy's coming right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Once he gets that penis cut off, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, Gary. One of the top scariest moments of my entire life that I'm reliving <laughs> as I'm looking at him in the monitor was I slept at Jackie's house one night. Of course, Jackie invited Siobhan to stay over as well. Right. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, I felt something watching me, and I opened my eyes, and he was standing over my bed. Oh. <laughs> and what is he going to do to you? Well, I said, what are you doing? I got up, and I freaked out, and he goes, oh, oh, I, I thought this was the bathroom. Well, it was <laughs> really I was going to go to the bathroom on Jackie's you. house. It was really confusing, Dude, you too. were staring at me. Dude. Well, I didn't know what that lump in the bed was. Oh, yeah, yeah. He took your teeth were a nightlight. Well, you know the bed isn't in a bathroom. <laughs> He knows what he was going to do to you. <laughs> and wait a second. The other thing is, we, we, I don't know if we ever discussed this. Do you remember the time uh, Jackie got invited him to one of the barbecues? Yeah, Jackie was a truly bizarre. You think Siobhan's weird? Jackie's ten times weirder. Right. Because Jackie, yeah, Jackie never yeah. thought you were weird. Right. He was he was, almost, he was coming on to me sometimes, too. <laughs> do, do, do you remember the time? I believe that. But wait a second. Do you remember the time we were at one of Jackie's hey. barbecues? Yeah. And we were, we, she was there. No, for a guy. You look like a cute broad. And we were in the house, and it was just you and I. We were in front of the buffet table. And, you, and he and Javon says to me, listen, i got to tell you something. And I said, what? There were people like in the next room. <laughs> and he goes, come here, i got to whisper to you. So when I leaned in, he took those giant man hands and he grabbed my face and he tried to kiss me. And it was like a big struggle. And I had to push him off me. It's like rape. But it was like, I, I leaned in like an idiot. You know? you know what? I felt like the biggest idiot when Siobhan was on the beach. And uh, Neil and uh, I think uh, Ronnie, Ronnie. Throwing rocks were throwing rocks at Siobhan, and I stood up and I protected Siobhan and said, listen, I don't agree with that. You shouldn't be throwing rocks at the guy. And they stopped. Siobhan, that's when he started falling in love with me because I protected him. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, I was like, I said, if only those that guys were allowed to throw that, the rocks. It was that one time you played Bon Jovi for me in the studio, and like it was just you and me. It was a commercial break, and you said, here, listen to this song, and you blasted Bon Jovi. I that's, did? That's now, why do you remember that and I don't? Because it was so romantic. Oh, you know man. what you were doing? You didn't have anything to say to Siobhan. Exactly. Stuck with him, so I so blast music. put on music. I go, here, idiot, listen to this. Stop talking to me. <laughs> he thinks you're romancing him. No, I just didn't want to talk to you, Siobhan. No offense. Well, anyway, listen, I'm happy for you. If you're happy, yeah. go get your hormones. Go get your penis cut off. Go do what you have to do. Just don't involve me. Just well, take it well, slow, hey, though. Yeah. Maybe think it through. Guys, maybe you guys want to do extreme transsexual makeover no, thanks. on the show. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. <laughs> no. We don't know anybody who does this. <laughs> yeah. That's never done. been done before, and for good reason. <laughs> all right, Siobhan, good luck to you. It's always good to get an update. Keep us posted on your operations. When you get your wiener cut off, come see us again. Uh, Helene. Helene, is it? Helene. Helene, you're lovely. God knows we wish you luck. Really. Yeah, I wish you tons of luck, honey. How's your other sister? Oh, she's great. She's married. Oh, really? Oh, no kidding. Is, is Siobhan a grand whatever? Oh, no, not yet. A grand whatever? I'm a grand it. I'm grand it. It could, it could happen soon. Oh. Did your, did your uh, son-in-law meet you? Yeah. He's did... actually cool with it. I can't believe it. Well, neither can we. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to take a break. Uh, that's Siobhan. If you remember him from the old days of coming on the show, he has He's resurfaced. And, that's a man, baby. <laughs> and Helene, his beautiful daughter. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Ban Mr. Bloodclot. Well, never mind, you can't ban him. I'm just not going to read it. Oh. Now you can ban Mr. Bloodclot. If I see more trolling, it's going to go up to five years.